in Ranlo. $49 down delivers at Furniture Plus in Gastonia. Yes, $49 down delivers with no credit check. There's even more. 90 days, the same as cash. A new living room suit, $49 down. A new bedroom suit, $49 down. A brand new recliner, $49 down. Come on in and see Cindy for all the details. $49 down delivers with no credit check and 90 days, same as cash. Free delivery and set up too. Furniture Plus, 1020 East Franklin Boulevard, Gastonia. It's the 90th Annual Cleveland County Fair, September 25th through October 5th. Make plans now to be there. On the Midway, it's pig racing, Leon Jacobs, Hack Monsters Chainsaw Demonstration, the Tumbleweed Crossing Wild West Show, and on the Grandstand, it's the Demolition Derby and much more. So join us for the fun, the 90th Annual Cleveland County Fair, September 25th through October 5th. The Cleveland County Fair at the Cleveland County Fairgrounds. Good credit, bad credit, no credit? Apply today and ride today at Fourth Auto Power Sports in Lowell. Pick up this week's What's Up Shopper for some great deals with zero money down and rates as low as 2.99%. See the new Polaris Ranger 500 crew for as low as $10,000. The brand new Yamaha Grizzly 125 is only $35.99. And for the lake, get the 2014 Yamaha Superjet for only $71.50. Full throttle power sports. Exit 22 off 85 in law, online at nc4throttle.com. It's America's Mattress Sale at Hendrick Appliance and Mattress Center in Shelby. Save now on the 2013 Inventory Reduction Sale. All 2013 mattress sets must go. Get free delivery, free setup, free Holloway. Get the sleep you need, guaranteed. Save on the Serta Perfect Sleeper for only $2.99 for queen size. Get special 12-month financing and Big Pella is just $39. America's Mattress from Hendrick Appliance and Mattress Center, 1241 East Dixon Boulevard in Shelby. Service. That's hard to find when it comes to lawn and garden equipment. Not anymore. Head to Parker Farm Service in Kings Mountain. Parker Farm Service services all major brands, makes, and models. Call Mary McHenry to set up your appointment at 704-259-6130. And Parker Farm Service welcomes Kenny Barbie to their service department. 24-hour turnaround with in-house parts, plus delivery and pickup is available. Parker Farm Service on Bessie Drive at the Highway 74 Bypass, Oak Grove Road Intersection in Kings Mountain. There's nothing like a bobcat to cut grass, and there's no better deal than right now to own a new bobcat from West End Sales in Vail. For only $101 a month, you can be mowing on your new bobcat with 0% financing for 54 months. See the Bobcat Fast Cat R2 with a big 22 horsepower Kawasaki engine and a big 52 inch cut and a heavy duty frame weighing 850 pounds, plus a three year, 300 hour warranty. Only 101 per month at West End Sales, Highway 2718 North Intersection, Vail. Have it delivered. Yes, if you live in the Stanley area, just phone in your prescriptions to Allen Drugstore in downtown Stanley and have it delivered. Just look for the Allen Drug Delivery Car. They'll be in your neighborhood soon. And don't forget about their free kids vitamin program. Get a 30-day supply of chewable multivitamins for every child's nutritional needs. Pick up a free bottle every 30 days. For more information, see Allen Drugstore. Located on Main Street in downtown Stanley. Have it delivered right to your front door today from Allen Drugstore in Stanley. For years, Hicks Go Forth at Car Fair Auto Sales on the Bessemer City Road in Gastonia has been providing our area with the finest in late model cars, trucks, and vans. And at Car Fair Auto Sales in Gastonia, they feature on-the-lot financing. Come talk with Hicks about your next vehicle purchase. They're open Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5.30, Saturdays 8 till 2. Call 704-865-8024. Car Fair Auto Sales, 1320 on the Bessemer City Road in Gastonia.
when the American Legion Baseball World Series Committee searched for a communications company to handle their needs at Veterans Field Keter Stadium, they chose Detailed Telecommunications, and maybe you should too. Your business telephone system is your link to the outside world. If your business telephone system needs service or upgrading or you are moving or just want to make sure you're getting the best deal from your telephone company, call Detail Telecommunications, 704-867-4507. And remember, they sell camera systems too. Visit them online at DetailTel.com. ENT Carolina is not your parents' allergy treatment. Now, no shots, no pain, no fear. Ask about the sublingual immunotherapy. Drops are placed under your tongue, and just two minutes a day is all it takes. It's safe, effective, and you do it on your own schedule. And best of all, no weekly doctor visits. Call today for a consultation with one of their board-certified allergy specialists. Visit a location near you. ENT Carolina, 2520 Aberdeen Road in Gastonia, 1212 Spruce Street in Belmont, and 1180 White Road in Shelby. Great food at affordable prices at Hillbilly's Barbecue and Steaks in Gastonia and Lowell. At lunch, you can get chopped steak and one side for $5.99. Select from pork or beef barbecue, or get a quarter chicken leg and thigh and one side for $4.99. Select from a wide variety of sides, including new items, collard greens, macaroni and cheese, green beans, homemade mashed potatoes, and gravy. At Hillbilly's Barbecue and Steaks, East Garrison Boulevard in Gastonia, and off I-85 at McCaddenville Road in Lowell. Online at hillbilliesbarbecueandsteaks.com. Since 1934. That's right, 1934. Watson Insurance Agency has been providing the people of our area with the best possible combination of insurance, risk management techniques, and personalized service in the most efficient manner possible. And today that tradition continues. Watson Insurance is one of the largest independently owned brokers in the Southeast, representing over 30 of the largest and financially sound insurance carriers today. Before you buy, get a quote with offices in Gastonia, Lincoln, and Belmont and Lake Wiley. Find out more at WatsonInsurance.com. Open under new management. The new local market number two on Highway 321 south of Gastonia, just over the state line. Just look for the big BP. Not only can you save on your gas, but also on a full line of convenience items like Little Debbie Cakes, two for a dollar, 20 ounce sun drops, 50 cents, any size coffee, just 99 cents, plus back to school items too. And coming soon, the all new menu for the grill. The local market number two, 321 south of Gastonia, just over the state line on the left. Look for the big BP, open 5 a.m. till midnight. For over 40 years, Roland Black Heating and Cooling in Gastonia has been serving this area with the finest heating and cooling systems, featuring your comfort specialist trained. Roland Black Heating and Cooling provides expert residential and commercial products and services. Their team of certified technicians will exceed your expectations, and they are always available for a free estimate for your home or business. And visit the new location, 501 East Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia. Remember, it's hard to stop a train. Since 1987, Grapevine Communications in Gastonia has been handling the communication needs for people in Gaston, Lincoln, Cleveland, and Mecklenburg counties, along with York County in South Carolina. To succeed in today's business world, you need an efficient, well-designed, and dependable communications and security system. Grapevine Communications is dedicated to providing you with the best in systems as well as service. Grapevine Communications. Call 704-861-8411. Located at 110 Armstrong Street in Gastonia. Online at grapevinecci.com. The name might have changed, but the same great people in service is still there. At Beard Insurance Agency, formerly Superior Insurance. Located at 1312 West Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia. From auto to home to commercial to renter insurance, also mobile home and motorcycle insurance. Find out why they are Gaston County's 
fastest growing insurance agency with the best rates for young drivers. By shopping your rate with 43 companies, they can save you money. Get low down payments and low monthly payments from Beard Insurance Agency, formerly Superior Insurance, 1312 West Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia, online at beardagency.com. Considering hardwood flooring for your home, then head to Flooring America in Kings Mountain or Carpet One Interiors in Ranlo. Right now at both locations, you'll find a big selection of in-stock hardwoods on sale. Priced as low as $2.99 a square foot. That's right, only $2.99 a square foot. At Flooring America, 602 Slater Street in Kings Mountain and Carpet One Interiors in Ranlo. $49 down delivers at Furniture Plus in Gastonia. Yes, $49 down delivers with no credit check. There's even more. 90 days, the same as cash. A new living room suit, $49 down. A new bedroom suit, $49 down. A brand new recliner, $49 down. Come on in and see Cindy for all the details. $49 down delivers with no credit check and 90 days, same as cash. Free delivery and set up too. Furniture Plus, 1020 East Franklin Boulevard, Gastonia. It's the 90th Annual Cleveland County Fair, September 25th through October 5th. Make plans now to be there. On the Midway, it's pig racing, Leon Jacobs, Act Monsters Chainsaw Demonstration, the Tumbleweed Crossing Wild West Show, and on the Grandstand, it's the Demolition Derby and much more. So join us for the fun, the 90th Annual Cleveland County Fair, September 25th through October 5th. The Cleveland County Fair at the Cleveland County Fairgrounds. Okay, good evening and welcome to high school football right here on the What's Up Shopper Sports Network, ktcbroadcasting.com. This is the Gaston County Game of the Week this week, live again for the second week in a row here in week number three from Forest View High School. Last week we were here, Derek, myself, Dan Howell, and Jeff Terry up top doing the camera work for us. A week ago we saw the Forest View Jaguars in week number two defeat the Clover Eagles, the Blue Eagles of Clover, uh, quite convincingly in what seemed to be a easy ball game for the Jaguars. That after they won their week one matchup against Nations Ford. So Forest View tonight coming in at 2-0. and And then also Kings Mountain. This will be the second time that we've had a Kings Mountain game represented here as the Gaston County Game of the Week. We saw them in week number one against Hunter Huss in which they won. And then last week, Kings Mountain able to beat East Gaston uh, quite easily in week number two. So bring in good friend and colleague Derek Smith. Derek, as we come into week three, if we have anything in common, I guess, it's that both these teams are 2-0. and Yeah, 2-0, and you know, and uh, as you mentioned, we've seen both of them the last two weeks, saw Kings Mountain play Hush. You and I came away pretty impressed with Kings Mountain. You mentioned during the pregame comments, this is a Kings Mountain team that struggled last year but felt like they had a chance to turn the corner this year, and based on the first game we saw them play against Hunter Huss, it looks like, in fact, they have turned the corner a little bit and will be competitive, not only in a game like this tonight, but also in their league play. And you and I also came away pretty impressed with the quarterback, Bell. You and I watched Bell complete his first eight passes in a row, and I think they scored on four of their first five offensive possessions to go up 28 to something early in the second half of that game. Huss got back into it late defense held them off in the end and, and came away with a victory but uh, you know very impressed with Kings Mountain in week one come out here last week and likewise pretty impressed with the Forest View Jaguars uh, taking on a Clover team that you know used to be a powerhouse in South Carolina probably a step back a little bit in their league in their region in South Carolina but nonetheless they're still Clover had a lot of kids out there they run that tricky wing tee type of offense and had everybody stacked up in there real close and ran the ball a lot but as expected, Mo Neal did real well last week. Five touchdowns, I believe, a couple of long runs, had some catches as well for some long yardage that, uh, you know, kept them in the ball game and allowed them to, to kind of extend that lead late in the fourth quarter. And then J.C. Crawford, the quarterback, who's replacing Logan Bradley, who's now playing in college uh, football. And, of course, Crawford did get a little bit of playing time last year late in the season when Logan Bradley got hurt. 
and different type of quarterback, but still he managed the offense well. He, he probably ran the ball better than he threw the ball, and, and in fact, he ran more than he did throw the football. So maybe this offense this year is not going to be one that's going to throw first, run second like they did with Bradley, but instead run first and throw second. And obviously they've still got Isaiah Sanders out there, at wide receiver, who was part of the McKelty Armstrong receiving core a year ago that was so good when Bradley did throw the football uh, a lot and often. But uh, two undefeated teams, somebody's got to lose one tonight and go back with a loss, but should be a heck of a ball game. I think we'll see a lot of points scored tonight. Both these teams scoring 40 or more points per game. So expect a, a shootout tonight here at Joe Alala Stadium in Gastonia. Yeah, those types of points equal a lot of yards of offense. And uh, looking at the last two weeks' uh, yardsticks, both these teams over 400 yards uh, easily of offense. Actually forced you in week one almost 500 yards of offense. So uh, we're about 25 minutes away from kickoff. This is the pregame show. Derek, Dan, Jeff Terry. Gaston County game of the week. Week number three, 2-0 Kings Mountain comes to town here to Gastonia. Their third week in a row going against the Gastonia team. Yeah. And our Gaston County team. And, uh, again, 25 minutes away. We'll take a quick break. We'll come back. We'll talk a little bit more about this game tonight and some other area games here in week number three in Gaston County. This is high school football right here on ktcbroadcasting.com. We'll be right back. Good credit, bad credit, no credit? Apply today and ride today at 4th Auto Power Sports in Lowell. Pick up this week's What's Up Shopper for some great deals with zero money down and rates as low as 2.99%. See the new Polaris Ranger 500 crew for as low as $10,000. The brand new Yamaha Grizzly 125 is only $35.99. And for the lake, get the 2014 Yamaha Superjet for only $71.50. Full throttle power sports. Exit 22 off I-85 in law, online at nc4throttle.com. It's America's Mattress Sale at Hendrick Appliance and Mattress Center in Shelby. Save now on the 2013 Inventory Reduction Sale. All 2013 mattress sets must go. Get free delivery, free setup, free Holloway. Get the sleep you need, guaranteed. Save on the Serta Perfect Sleeper for only $2.99 for queen size. Get special 12-month financing and Big Pella is just $39. America's Mattress from Hendrick Appliance and Mattress Center, 1241 East Dixon Boulevard in Shelby. Service. That's hard to find when it comes to lawn and garden equipment. Not anymore. Head to Parker Farm Service in Kings Mountain. Parker Farm Service services all major brands, makes, and models. Call Mary McHenry to set up your appointment at 704-259-6130. And Parker Farm Service welcomes Kenny Barbie to their service department. 24-hour turnaround with in-house parts, plus delivery and pickup is available. Parker Farm Service on Bessie Drive at the Highway 74 Bypass, Oak Grove Road Intersection in Kings Mountain. There's nothing like a bobcat to cut grass, and there's no better deal than right now to own a new bobcat from West End Sales in Vail. For only $101 a month, you can be mowing on your new bobcat with 0% financing for 54 months. See the Bobcat Fast Cat R2 with a big 22 horsepower Kawasaki engine and a big 52 inch cut and a heavy duty frame weighing 850 pounds, plus a three year, 300 hour warranty. Only 101 per month at West End Sales, Highway 2718 North Intersection, Vale. Have it delivered. Yes, if you live in the Stanley area, just phone in your prescriptions to Allen Drugstore in downtown Stanley and have it delivered. Just look for the Allen Drug Delivery Car. They'll be in your neighborhood soon. And don't forget about their free kids vitamin program. Get a 30-day supply of chewable multivitamins for every child's nutritional needs. Pick up a free bottle every 30 days. For more information, see Allen Drugstore. Located on Main Street in downtown Stanley. Have it delivered right to your front door today from Allen Drugstore in Stanley. For years, Hicks Go Forth at Car Fair Auto Sales on the Bessemer City Road in Gastonia has been providing our area with the finest in late model cars, trucks, and vans. And at Car Fair Auto Sales in Gastonia, they feature on-the-lot financing 
Come talk with Hicks about your next vehicle purchase. They're open Monday through Friday, 830 to 530, Saturdays 8 till 2. Call 704-865-8024. Car Fair Auto Sales, 1320 on the Bessemer City Road in Gastonia. When the American Legion Baseball World Series Committee search for a communications company to handle their needs at Veterans Field Keter Stadium, they chose detailed telecommunications. And maybe you should too. Your business telephone system is your link to the outside world. If your business telephone system needs service or upgrading or you are moving or just want to make sure you're getting the best deal from your telephone company, call Detail Telecommunications. 704-867-4507. And remember, they sell camera systems too. Visit them online at detailtel.com. ENT Carolina is not your parents' allergy treatment. Now, no shots, no pain, no fear. Ask about the sublingual immunotherapy. Drops are placed under your tongue, and just two minutes a day is all it takes. It's safe, effective, and you do it on your own schedule. And best of all, no weekly doctor visits. Call today for a consultation with one of their board-certified allergy specialists. Visit a location near you, ENT Carolina, 2520 Aberdeen Road in Gastonia, 1212 Spruce Street in Belmont, and 1180 White Road in Shelby. Great food at affordable prices at Hillbilly's Barbecue and Steaks in Gastonia and Lowell. At lunch, you can get chopped steak and one side for $5.99. Select from pork or beef barbecue or get a quarter chicken leg and thigh and one side for $4.99. Select from a wide variety of sides including new items, collard greens, macaroni and cheese, green beans, homemade mashed potatoes and gravy. At Hillbilly's Barbecue and Steaks, East Garrison Boulevard in Gastonia, and off I 85 at McCadmill Road in Lowell. Online at Hillbilly's Barbecue and Steaks.com. Since 1934, that's right, 1934, Watson Insurance Agency has been providing the people of our area with the best possible combination of insurance, risk management techniques, and personalized service in the most efficient manner possible. And today that tradition continues. Watson Insurance is one of the largest independently owned brokers in the Southeast, representing over 30 of the largest and financially sound insurance carriers today. Before you buy, get a quote with offices in Gastonia, Lincoln, and Belmont and Lake Wiley. Find out more at WatsonInsurance.com. Open under new management. The new Who knows? I don't know. All right. Welcome back. 17 minutes now. A little more than a three-minute break there. Sorry about that. 17 minutes before kickoff. Force View hosting Kings Mountain tonight. Two 2-0 two and teams. And, uh, again, a week ago, uh, we were out here and we saw Force View handle Clover pretty easily. And that was a Clover team that uh, – you know, we talked a lot about in the pregame last week, really trying to rebuild or get that program ignited again. And I thought they came out and looked pretty good to start that ball game. But there toward the end, the Jags uh, won it pretty easily at 42-22. to Again, over 400 yards of offense for the Jags. They gave up almost 300 to Clover. But uh, as you talked about when we opened the broadcast tonight, this is a bunch in Forest View and, as you'll see in Kings Mountain, offensive explosion is probably the headline headline to come into this pregame yeah i mean as you pointed out i believe already uh, kings mountain 402 last week 273 on the ground on 42 carries and then bell threw for 129 which is pretty solid he was eight of 17 no picks has not picked had a pick off now in two games for kings mountain and then the rushing, though, for um, Forest View was 326 on 37 carries. And then only 87 yards passing for Crawford. But Crawford last week ran the ball real well for Forest View. He rushed it for 141 yards on 12 carries. So, you know, we felt like a lot of those runs were runs because he couldn't find anybody open and was kind of forced to run. But, you know, hey, you know, you're still getting your yards one way or the other. So a very productive night last week for um Crawford and the offense. Mo Neal was spectacular. A 79-yard touchdown run, a 12-yard touchdown run, a 3-yard run, a 52-yard run in the fourth quarter, which kind of was the game winner. And then he also had a 
two-yard run, 52, 3, 12, and 79. Yeah, that's it. Then he also caught a pass last week, uh, two passes for 37 yards. One was a little swing pass, a little screen pass that went for about 30-something yards. Had another small pass uh, reception as well. But, uh, you know, he's a guy that they're going to throw to. He's a guy that's going to run the football a lot. And, I mean, he's the guy that's going to keep this offense moving this year. And I think Crawford can also be an asset to the offense with his legs and – you know, at some point this season, the run may get stuffed a little bit, and Crawford may have to throw the football. And if he does have to throw the football, Isaiah Sanders was part of that offense last year that was so good through the air, and he's a guy that can certainly catch the football. But we did not see the offensive receivers get open a whole lot last week for Forest Is That's something they may want to work on uh, later in the season once they get to a situation where that run gets stuffed. Yeah, one thing I don't know if we said or not, but Bell – uh, quarterback for Kings Mountain rushing the football last week, 133 yards. Okay, well there you go. I did so not he's that. a double threat as well. Yeah, 129 through the air, then 130 something on the ground. Pretty impressive, then. Yeah, yeah, looks really good. Looks like we got a good matchup on both sides on offense tonight. So defense will be busy. I think the one that wins this one tonight is going to be the one that can stop this offense or at least keep them from under 40 points. Uh, it looks like. So uh, we will see what defenses we see tonight on both sides of the football. We'll take another quick break, come back, talk about some other area of Gaston County games here in week number three. This might be a critical week for some teams in week number three, specifically the South Point Red Raiders, who uh, have gone down 0-2. But we'll talk a little bit more about those area games right after this. We'll come right back. This is high school football. Derek, Dan, Jeff Terry right here on KTCBroadcasting.com. Local market number two on Highway 321 south of Gastonia, just over the state line. Just look for the big BP. Not only can you save on your gas, but also on a full line of convenience items like Little Debbie Cakes, two for a dollar, 20 ounce sun drops, 50 cents, any size coffee, just 99 cents, plus back to school items too. And coming soon, the all new menu for the grill. The local market number two. 321 south of Gastonia, just over the state line on the left. Look for the big BP, open 5 a.m. till midnight. For over 40 years, Roland Black Heating and Cooling in Gastonia has been serving this area with the finest heating and cooling systems, featuring your comfort specialist trained. Roland Black Heating and Cooling provides expert residential and commercial products and services. Their team of certified technicians will exceed your expectations, and they are always available for a free estimate for your home or business. And visit the new location, 501 East Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia. Remember, it's hard to stop a train. Since 1987, Grapevine Communications in Gastonia has been handling the communication needs for people in Gaston, Lincoln, Cleveland, and Mecklenburg counties, along with York County in South Carolina. To succeed in today's business world, you need an efficient, well-designed, and dependable communications and security system. Grapevine Communications is dedicated to providing you with the best in systems as well as service. Grapevine Communications. Call 704-861-8411. Located at 110 Armstrong Street in Gastonia. Online at grapevinecci.com. The name might have changed, but the same great people in service is still there. At Beard Insurance Agency, formerly Superior Insurance. Located at 1312 West Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia. From auto to home to commercial to renter insurance. Also mobile home and motorcycle insurance. Find out why they are Gaston County's fastest growing insurance agency. With the best rates for young drivers. By shopping your rate with 43 companies, they can save you money. Get low down payments and low monthly payments from Beard Insurance Agency. Formerly Superior Insurance. 1312 West Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia. Online at beardagency.com. Considering hardwood flooring for your home, then head to Flooring America in Kings Mountain where Carpet One Interiors in Ranlo. Right now at both locations, you'll find a big selection of in-stock hardwoods on sale. Priced as low as $2.99 a square foot. That's right, only $2.99 a square foot. At Flooring America, 602 Slater Street in Kings Mountain and Carpet One Interiors in Ranlo. Forty-nine. 
welcome back. Ten minutes to go before kickoff uh, here from Forest View. Forest View hosting Kings Mountain. 2-0 Forest View, 2-0 Kings Mountain. You see the marching band coming out on the football field, getting ready for the national anthem. Real quick, what other games we got tonight in the area and Gaston County? Well, tonight we have Asheville at Ashbrook. That should be a good game. Of course, you know, they met in the playoffs about ten years ago. I don't know if you went on that trip with me or not. I think Richard was with me in overtime win when Orion Mayfield uh, scored a touchdown late up there to win against Asheville that put them in the state championship game. Bessemer City at Hunter Huss tonight. It'll be Concord First Assembly at Highland Tech. East Lincoln at North Lincoln. We'll step aside now for the national anthem, come back and talk about tonight's games in just a second. All right, nice job by the Forest View Band to pick back up where we left off. It'll be North Gaston at Lincoln tonight, South Point at Shelby, West Lincoln at Cherryville, Westwood at Clover, open tonight, or East Gaston, also Stuart Kramer. Here at KTCBroadcasting.com, about six hours of continuous football coverage each and every Friday night, beginning with the Marburger Auto pregame show. That is from 5.30 till 7 each and every Friday night. Lewis Carpenter. Check that Steve Roberts, Sam Davis, and Terry Reinhardt with that each and every week. Then our stadium shows with our WLON Game of the Week. That is simulcast on AM 1050 WLON, also at kpcbroadcasting.com. They have North Lincoln and East Lincoln tonight. WCSL AM 1590 in Cherryville. They will have the Ironman hosting West Lincoln tonight on our Crest Network at ktcbroadcasting.com. They are open tonight. Those guys have got the night off. So Andy Foster and those guys will get a much-deserved Friday night off early in the season. The Burns Network with Calvin Hastings and Dan Greer at ktcbroadcasting.com. They'll be hosting Freedom tonight out in Lawndale. And then the Shelby Golden Lion Network simulcast on WOHS AM 1390. That'll be that big South Point Red Raider game as the South Point team goes to Shelby Daniel, 0-2, looking at 0-3 against the defending state champions. That's going to be a tough test tonight for them. They don't go 0-3 very often, and um, I would say things will be very dire in Belmont tomorrow should they lose to Shelby tonight. Yeah, on the road. Hey, look, they got two games in week one and two right at home in Belmont, and you know what the history shows the games in Belmont. You, typically, everyone leaves Belmont a loser. Uh, but this season, not the case. And now the South Point Red Raiders will have to go face their first test on the road. And like you said, won't be an easy test. So 0-3 to start the season. That might be some history. When was the last time that happened uh, in the history books? Could have been a while. Yeah, it has been. I think Phil Gardner tweeted that out this week, and I don't have that at the top of my head, but they don't go 0-3 very often, and that'll be a tough test for them tonight. As I mentioned, our coverage will then wrap up tonight with a Ronaldo Auto postgame show. Lewis Carpenter, Dennis Davis, Steve Roberts, Tom Centifanti, and Terry Reinhardt. We've got all the scores tonight. Don't wait up till the 
TV show comes on 11.35. Get your scores beginning at 10 o'clock tonight, right at the top of the hour. Once we wrap up tonight, we'll go straight to the Marburger Auto postgame show. And that will be from 10 till midnight tonight. Two hours of scores. They'll take your calls as well. Give them a call. Let them know what you saw tonight at your respective high school football game, and they'll have some fun up there. Lewis Carpenter and those guys have a great time uh, up there each and every Friday night. But you can get your scores at 10 o'clock and not have to wait till 11.30, 12 o'clock on the TV, guys, to let you know what happened. So um, should be a heck of a game tonight. We will be, I believe, in Bessemer City next week. First look at the new school in the Big South, Kramer High School, heading to Bessemer City over at Jack Dixon Stadium. That should be a pretty competitive matchup. Uh, Kramer's taking their lumps a little bit this year, as you would expect. I mean, they don't have no seniors on that team, just a bunch of juniors and sophomores. They played a JV schedule last year and are trying to uh, get their feet wet in varsity football this year, but it'll be a tough year for them. But uh, nice facilities, I understand. So we'll get our first look at their artificial turf, I believe, and their press box. Terry uh, Terry Reinhardt, the um, – check that, Terry Radford, the AD over there, Good friend of ours from Hunter Huss is the man in charge of the athletic department over there at Kramer, and I'm sure he'll have a have a nice uh, nice setup for us next week out there. So we look forward to going to see uh, Kramer in a couple of weeks. But uh, they'll be at Bessemer City next week. Then we'll get to see them in two weeks as they will host Highland Tech, our first game at Kramer High School over in Cramerton. Yeah, we'll take one quick break, uh, Derek, before we get going here tonight. Uh, Still a little time for you about to take the field from the hill here, but we'll take one more break, come back, and get you kicked off from Forest View. This is the Gaston County Game of the Week. Derek, Dan, Jeff, Terry right here on KTCBroadcasting.com. Dollars down delivers at Furniture Plus in Gastonia. Yes, $49 down delivers with no credit check. There's even more. 90 days, the same as cash. A new living room suit, $49 down. A new bedroom suit, $49 down. A brand new recliner, $49 down. Come on in and see Cindy for all the details. $49 down delivers with no credit check and 90 days, same as cash. Free delivery and set up to Furniture Plus, 1020 East Franklin Boulevard, Gastonia. It's the 90th Annual Cleveland County Fair, September 25th through October 5th. Make plans now to be there. On the Midway, it's pig racing, Leon Jacobs, Act Monsters Chainsaw Demonstration, the Tumbleweed Crossing Wild West Show, and on the Grandstand, it's a Demolition Derby and much more. So join us for the fun, the 90th Annual Cleveland County Fair, September 25th through October 5th. The Cleveland County Fair at the Cleveland County Fairgrounds. Good credit, bad credit, no credit? Apply today and ride today at Full Throttle Power Sports in Lowell. Pick up this week's What's Up Shopper for some great deals with zero money down and rates as low as 2.99%. See the new Polaris Ranger 500 crew for as low as $10,000. The brand new Yamaha Grizzly 125 is only $35.99. And for the lake, get the 2014 Yamaha Superjet for only $71.50. Full Throttle Power Sports. Exit 22 off 85 in law, online at nc4throttle.com. It's America's Mattress Sale at Hendrick Appliance and Mattress Center in Shelby. Save now on the 2013 Inventory Reduction Sale. All 2013 mattress sets must go. Get free delivery, free setup, free Holloway. Get the sleep you need, guaranteed. Save on the Serta Perfect Sleeper for only $2.99 for queen size. Get special 12-month financing and big pillows just $39. America's Mattress from Hendrick Appliance and Mattress Center, 1241 East Dixon Boulevard in Shelby. Service. That's hard to find when it comes to lawn and garden equipment. Not anymore. Head to Parker Farm Service in Kings Mountain. Parker Farm Service services all major brands, makes, and models. Call Mary McHenry to set up your appointment at 704-259-6130. And Parker Farm Service welcomes Kenny Barbie to their service department. 24-hour turnaround with in-house parts, plus delivery and pickup is available. Parker Farm Service on Bessie Drive at the Highway 74 Bypass, Oak Grove Road Intersection in Kings Mountain.
There's nothing like a bobcat to cut grass, and there's no better deal than right now to own a new bobcat from West End Sales in Vail. For only $101 a month, you can be mowing on your new bobcat with 0% financing for 54 months. See the Bobcat Fast Cat R2 with a big 22 horsepower Kawasaki engine at a big 52 inch cut and a heavy duty frame weighing 850 pounds, plus a three year, 300 hour warranty. Only 101 per month at West End Sales, Highway 2718 North Intersection, Vail. All right, teams on the field. Looks like the Mounties will kick to the Jags left to right. Beautiful night, kind of a hot and humid night. Uh, no threat of rain immediately, but chance of rain tonight, so we could see some sprinkles later. Getting set for the Mountaineers and the Jags. For the play-by-play -play call, my partner and friend, Daniel Howe. Daniel, take it away. All right, thank you, Derek. And that is right. The Jags will receive first. Mo Neal back for them, along with Maurice Bryce. Uh, the Jags did win the toss, selected to receive here tonight in this first quarter. So that's what they will do. You see them down there on the field in all black, trimmed in white. The white numerals there and the black helmets. And the Kings Mountain Mountaineers come to town tonight in those white uniforms, trimmed in black. Little gold under the sleeves. And we are set to go. Teed up at the 40, kicking it off for the Mountaineers. And a little pooch kick. They're not going to kick the Moneal. We kind of saw that last week with Clover. Here it is returned. Out almost to the 30-yard line for the Jaguars was number 12, Caleb Mills. So Jaguars will get great field position to start this game here in week number three, quarter number one, 11.53 to go in this quarter. And the Jags will start first on offense. You know, gave, them up, gave up 29, but not 99, I guess. So um, that's where they will start. Maybe a good decision by Kings Mountain to kind of pooch kick it. So first and 10 from the 29-yard line. Near side hash, here come the Jags. It looks like uh, Crawford will drop back. Let's see, under center. You're under center, I formation. Yeah, I formation. Look, with a fullback in there. Yep, Crawford right up under center, going to hand off. I think that went to Mo Neal. And Neal up across the 30 to the 31, 32-yard line. That'll bring up second and eight, two-yard gain for Mo Neal. So what's up with this? The I formation. Power football out of Coach Medlin. A guy likes to spread it out, throw it a lot. Maybe a change in the week at practice. Maybe offensively he's decided to do something differently, but that was certainly a new look. A fullback out there. When was the last time you saw a fullback for Forestview? And they'll stick Maybe with it. Maybe never. They're going to stick with it here. That is uh, Tate Payne, a defensive lineman by trade, 269 in there at fullback, number 54. Well, it looks to me like they want to bust open uh, Mo Neal here early on, and they'll go to that formation again. This time a little screen pass. That's going to be incomplete, just thrown way out of bounds. Intended for Isaiah Sanders. Sanders took about two steps forward, and that football was thrown behind Sanders, but a little high as well. A lot of heat on that ball as well. So second and long, you would third think a throw. Long. Third and long, that's right. I think maybe a throwing down. That's a good question. They're they're showing Unless a loss it was of a two. lateral. Maybe that's what they're calling it. That was a lateral, absolutely. Minus two on the play to Crawford. Quarterback keeper John Crawford. Crawford in trouble. And look at Kings Mountain wrap them up. Wow. A three and out for the Jags. And we got a flag on the play down there in the middle of the pack there. So that was not an incomplete pass. That was a pass behind the line, which is basically – a loss because he threw it out of bounds. So minus two on the previous play. Illegal block by the Jags. They'll decline it. No gain on the play. So that will now be three and out. They'll kick it away to the Mountaineers who will have good field position. A good good defensive stand for Kings Mountain to slow down this high-powered offense on the first possession, albeit, but still gives them some momentum, gives them some confidence as they get set to settle into this first half and first quarter. Tico Crocker, Sean Adams back for Kings Mountain to return the punt. Here's the snap. Here is the Jaguar punt. It's a high punt, and it's going to land and bounce down close to the 30-yard line of Kings Mountain. That was not a returnable punt for Kings Mountain. 
They just kind of stood away from it there. Let it bounce inside the 35 and then trickle on down to the 31 yard line. Yeah, got a good roll, 35 yard punt. And now Kings Mountain will come out with their high potent offense that we've seen on display in weeks one and two. Again, their quarterback, Brandon Bell, five foot nine, 175 pound senior. And breaks his huddle. McClain. He's a guy that'll get a lot tonight at the running back position. He's right there on the left hip of Bell. Yeah, Brandon Bell goes to the shotgun. His first pass is complete. Nice blocking out there. Nice catch and run. Still on his feet is Tico Crocker. Crocker. That's Tico Crocker. Watch your flag out there, Daniel. Yep, we do have a flag on the turf. Looks like he got almost nine on the play to the 40-yard line. Somebody's down. Is that Crocker down over there? I think so. Bell's over there looking at him. Check that's Merchant, the other receiver out there looking yeah, at him. Yeah, he had a big game in week one. Yeah, he did. He's against a guy Hunter Huff. Go to a lot in the passing department. Face mask. That'll be a first down. So where's the ball spotted? Yeah, they haven't put it down just yet. They never put it down. I'm going to give him nine yards. That's all I know to do. They didn't spot the darn football. Got to spot it, guys. Somewhere. 15-yard penalty, I assume. It is spotted on the 45-yard line. So that would have been about a yeah, nine-yard gain, exactly. This is what are we – I did the math in my head, but they never spotted the football and then marked the penalty yards off. They just let the chain crew go on there and mark it off. First down. First down, and the shotgun goes to Kings Mountain. Kings Mountain back to throw, unloading one. What a pass, and that's covered up out there on defense. It was number 12 for the Jaguars, Caleb Mills, defensive back. We didn't see Bell go deep like that a lot against Hunter Huss, so maybe something they've seen on film this week gives them the thought that they can throw deep on Forest View. Pretty good pass. He's got a good arm. Overshot him just a little bit out there on the left sideline. Second and 10 from the 45-yard line inside of Jaguar territory. Yeah, Brandon Bell looks very comfortable back in the pocket when he drops back. Here he is in the shotgun again. He's got one man on his right hip. Two down low and one of the top. They will hand it off and McLean. on the run across the 40 down to the 38-yard line was Darian McLean. That's a seven-yard pickup for McLean. His name was called often in week one against Huss. Yeah, he's a the guy they'll give it to a lot back there. Crocker will get it some, but McLean will be the guy that has most of the carries tonight other than the quarterback. Good run, seven yards to the 38-yard line, and Mounties on the move thanks to that penalty, but certainly they're moving the football nonetheless. McLean was going to line up on that right hip, now move to the left. This is a quarterback keeper for Bell. Look at Bell spin yeah. off the tackle and get some positive yards. And got the first down with the second effort once he was hit initially. He bounced off and got the first down. Gain of four on the play to Bell. Yeah, across the 35 to the 34-yard line. And he got hit hard, too, and, and was able to keep his feet. Just spun right off and got the first down yardage inside the 35-yard line. So they're knocking on the door already on this first possession, aided by that penalty. That could come back to haunt the Jags, that 15-yard face mask. There's a snap. Back to passes Bell. Right over the middle, find a man wide open. That's a nice pass and a grab by, guess who, Tico Crocker. We're seeing his name called often here on this drive. And he just snuck right across that midfield in space and got that nice catch there, Crocker. Big pickup and another first down for Kings Mountain. 20 yards, Daniel, on that play. Tico Crocker and a first down. And, boy, was he wide open. He was. He found a little space. In front of the cornerback and behind the linebackers in the right flat coming across from left to right, and that's the way Bell rolled and hit him in stride. 
the other way. Yeah, back to pass. And another catch made out there by Crocker. He's inside the 10, maybe right at the 10-yard line. Is that a pickup of four for Crocker? 7.28 to go. Kings Mountain, first possession. A second down and seven for them. I'm sorry, six. Ball spotted on the Kings on the Forest View 10-yard line. Bell three of four on this first drive. Looks sharp throwing the football. Yeah, whistle. Yeah, we got a whistle. Got a delay a game. What do we got here? Maybe a timeout. Timeout. Delay a game. Kings yep. Mountain going to take a timeout. We will take a timeout as well. We'll be right back. Seven minutes to go. Zero zero the score. This is high school football right here on KTCBroadcasting.com. Have it delivered. Yes, if you live in the Stanley area, just phone in your prescriptions to Allen Drug Store in downtown Stanley and have it delivered. Just look for the Allen Drug Delivery Car. They'll be in your neighborhood soon. And don't forget about their free kids vitamin program. Get a 30-day supply of chewable multivitamins for every child's nutritional needs. Pick up a free bottle every 30 days. For more information, see Allen Drug Store. Located on Main Street in downtown Stanley. Have it delivered right to your front door today from Allen Drug Store in Stanley. For years, Hicks Go Forth at Car Fair Auto Sales on the Bessemer City Road in Gastonia has been providing our area with the finest in late model cars, trucks, and vans. And at Car Fair Auto Sales in Gastonia, they feature on the lot financing. Come talk with Hicks about your next vehicle purchase. They're open Monday through Friday, 830 to 530, Saturdays 8 till 2. Call 704-865-8024. Car Fair Auto Sales, 1320 on the Bessemer City Road in Gastonia. All right, out of the timeout, one play was run. Really a no gain. Uh, well, let's see here. It was run up to the six-yard line. Quarterback keeper. Third and one to get a first down, it looks like, for Kings Mountain here. Yeah, just inside the five, maybe a long one, Daniel. They're outside the, the five, inside the five for the first down. Snap Here's right Bell. He's going to keep it again, and he's going to try to reach Maybe for that first Maybe second down. effort he got it. And I tell you what, he really likes to run out of that yeah. shotgun, doesn't he? And he'll go right up the middle, too. I think he might have got it on second effort. He kind of squeezed in there late. If he gets a good spot, he'll get it. Needed almost two, one and a half, two yards for the first down. Spotted it. They will, nah, they're going to say first down, they're going to measure. No, first down, got it. Won't measure. So there you go, there's the first down. Good effort by that guy to go right up the middle too, and he's a guy not afraid to take a hit either. So goal to go from the four yard line. This is an opening drive that began back on the Kings Mountain 29 yard line. This will be a 71 yard play, uh, scoring drive should they convert here on first and goal to go. First and goal, here's the handoff. Is that to McLean? Yep. It is. And McLean going to get knocked around at the line of scrimmage. That'll bring a second goal. Yeah, no gain. Little running, little passing. 17 yards rushing, 33 yards through the air. Four first downs on this opening possession. One Jaguar penalty. Bell and that shotgun man it comes across in motion. They'll hand off oh, to him. Yeah. And there's a nice block the out corner. there. Can he get across? And he yeah, does he into the end zone for a touchdown. Goes Tico Crocker. Tico Crocker for the touchdown. Six nothing. With 5.05 to go in quarter number one. Kings Mountain on the scoreboard first. And they really just walked it right down the field, didn't they? We await the extra point here. Snap, hold down, the kick is up, and the kick is good. 
7-0, Kings Mountain on top over the Jags here from Gastonia. 5.05 to go in Q1. Take a quick break. We'll be right back. When the American Legion Baseball World Series Committee search for a communications company to handle their needs at Veterans Field Keter Stadium, they chose detailed telecommunications. And maybe you should too. Your business telephone system is your link to the outside world. If your business telephone system needs service or upgrading or you are moving or just want to make sure you're getting the best deal from your telephone company, call Detail Telecommunications. 704-867-4507. And remember, they sell camera systems too. Visit them online at detailtel.com. There you see it, 505, quarter number one, and the Kings Mountain Mountaineers on top of the Jags. They strike first, 7 nothing after nine plays and 70 yards later, it was a touchdown for Tico Crawford. Crocker, I'm sorry. And now Kings Mountain to kick off. Let's see if they just pooch it. This time, just a little runner across the turf, just picked up around the 30 and advanced up across the 35, close to the 37-yard line. Caleb Mills again, his second return. So Jaguars now going to go back on offense after going three and out on their first possession. They look to do a little better here on this second possession and try to get on the scoreboard late in this first quarter. Crawford now going to go to that shotgun, which we did not see on that first series. So go back to the traditional shotgun they're used to playing on. Here's a bomb thrown right out of the first play and is tipped up and intercepted by Kings Mountain. A big block in the backfield and a return and then a fumble. Are they going to call that a fumble? No, they are going to call Kings Mountain down. I think that was the right call. His knee was down, so that was not a fumble, but it was an interception and a return on the interception out by uh, outside the 30 to the 32-yard line, but someone in that backfield took a really hard shot. And Kings Mountain will get it right back. Wow, went deep, and there was a lot of coverage down there. Ball got tipped in the air, and... A lot of white shirts back there. That's the old tip drill they practice in the summer and came down with it. And I think he was down by contact. That was the right call. Can't review it, obviously, but I think that was the right call. So a big turn of events here. Momentum shifting now to Kings Mountain. They've got the football. Merchant There's, over there. Yeah, that's Merchant's first catch of the night for a couple yards. Two-yard catch by Jake Merchant. Second down and eight for Kings Mountain. Handoff. And he's broken free. That's McLean down the sideline. Watch out across the 30 and tries to break it back in before taking down at the 20-yard line. McLean may have just ran out of real estate over there on the Kings Mountain sideline and had to turn it back to the middle of the field before he got chased down by the Jaguar defense and finally taken down around the 19-yard line of Forceview. And that was a big gainer right there. 52 yards, I believe. Cut the corner and he was gone. One man to beat. Caught him just near the 20 yard line. Timeout by Forestview. Nah, we've got an injury uh, on the far 
side over there on the Kings Mountain side. And that is McLean. He's coming up a little shooken up after he got tackled down there at the 19. He'll sit this play out and take a little breather here. Jags will trot back on on the field. A couple of scores, Lincoln 14, North Gaston nothing. Late first quarter score, Richard Walker's out there tonight with the Gaston Gazette. All right, after the injury timeout, here's Kings Mountain in the shotgun is Bell. Bell gonna keep it himself. Nice run there across the 15, and down to the 13-yard line goes Bell. Six-yard gain for Bell. I tell you what, this is, I think, where Kings Mountain could get pretty dangerous because we've seen a few plays now a run, 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 and we know they can throw. Yeah. Long so now sleep. they're really gonna, really gonna get Jag, the Jags guessing on defense because you don't know what's gonna come. South Point twelve, Shelby seven. Wow. Shotgun, Bell. Bell looking to sneak it down to the ten, and he's gonna come up a little short, but he'll be close. That'll bring up a third down in short situation for Kings Mountain. Got three, third and one. Third down, short situation, third and one. Put the head down, think he got it. I don't know, it'll be close. And they might actually have to measure for this one, we'll see. Uh-oh, saw some lightning yeah, out there to the lightning. south, kind of down below the Carolina Speedway, down near the Clover area, York area, just directly to our south. And uh, a bit cool as sometimes you see the cool weather blow in preceding a storm and could be in store for some rain here momentarily. I saw a lightning delay already in Charlotte for a game over near Olympic, which is uh, not too far from here. Of the South Lake Taba River in the Steel Creek area. That may be where this storm is coming from. Gonna measure this. I think he got it. Unless they stretch those chains a little bit. Nah, I think he did not get it, Dan. No, he did not. Good, uh, good observation there. Got a yard, needed a little bit more than a yard. I think you go for it. I think you can get that with the quarterback, Bell. A read think, option or something. Well, I think Kings Mountain knows what they're up against here, and they're going to take advantage of every opportunity they can. And, look, they're going to go for it here. So fourth down and in inches for Kings Mountain. No shotgun for Bell this time. Under right center. up under, and he's going to quarterback yeah. sneak it, and is he going to get the push? We'll see. I think they feel pretty good about it. No signal just yet. They'll wait for them to get off the bottom of that pile, and he got it. Just line them up and send them across, and that's what they did. A first down for Kings Mountain. Great camera work by Jeff Terry as I look at the broadcast um, feed just a few seconds behind the play-by-play the -play feed as I watch it on Ustream. Ustream app, by the way. Download the Ustream app. Watch this thing on your cell phone as I'm doing right now. Great picture, great sound too. Whoa, so, high oh, snap. Wow. Bell a little in trouble, but he kept it. And Bell, look at that, he goes wow. into the end zone. Eight yards. I tell you what, Bell was a lot dangerous on his feet than I thought he was. He is one heck of a rusher. Might have snapped it right to Crocker. Direct snap to Crocker? I believe so. That's what they did. Good call over here by Cliff Dixon. Letting us know that we were wrong on that. That was Crocker 
on the touchdown, on the direct snap. And that was a nice call by Kings Mountain. Tico Crocker so far has really shredded this Jaguar defense in the first quarter. And that field goal will be good. 14, actually that will be wide to the left there. That will be no good. So it'll stay 13 to nothing, 115 to go. That is your Allen Drug scoreboard right there. 115 to go and Kings Mountain on top. We will be right back. ENT Carolina is not your parents' allergy treatment. Now, no shots, no pain, no fear. Ask about the sublingual immunotherapy. Drops are placed under your tongue, and just two minutes a day is all it takes. It's safe, effective, and you do it on your own schedule. And best of all, no weekly doctor visits. Call today for a consultation with one of their board-certified allergy specialists. Visit a location near you, ENT Carolina, 2520 Aberdeen Road in Gastonia, 1212 Spruce Street in Belmont, and 1180 White Road in Shelby. All right, welcome back. 115 to go. It's 13 to nothing. Here's another little pooch kick across the turf. That'll be taken again by Caleb Mills. That's his third return tonight, and they'll start from about the same spot. They've been starting all night long up here around the 40-yard line. They will not dare a kick to Mo Neal. Man, we have not seen anything in this first quarter from Mo Neal. Well, they won't have the ball. How many plays? Four plays, Daniel. Three and out, and then the pick on the first play by Crawford. Just four offensive plays. Three rushes, minus two by Crawford, no gain by Crawford. Two-yard gain by Neal. First play of the game up the middle, and they came out in the I formation. And then the pick. And um, are these guys talking about the delay a little bit, the lightning we saw back to the south down near York, possibly coming our way? Storm cell down by Lake Wiley, which is the direction we saw the lightning coming. And they're going to hold this thing up, Daniel. There you go. It's official Cliff Dixon across the PA announcement there. A lightning delay is what we are going into here. We do have a storm approaching from the Lake Wiley area. It is very dark over that way. We did see a couple flashes of lightning. Uh, so far, it doesn't look like we're under any instant threat here at the moment, but it is awfully dark. That could move this way. Take a look at my radar on my cell phone here real quick and just see how this storm's kind of tracking. Do you see the Allen Drug scoreboard there as we go into this lightning delay? 13 to nothing. Kings Mountain on top. 108 to go in this first quarter. And uh, as we take a look at the radar here, seeing if anything is popping up. There went a big bolt. And my radar just is not picking up anything. Hey, just come on down. Yeah, my radar is not. Great food at affordable prices at Hillbilly's Barbecue and Steaks in Gastonia and Lowell. At lunch, you can get chopped steak and one side for $5.99. Select from pork or beef barbecue or get a quarter chicken leg and thigh and one side for $4.99. Select from a wide variety of sides including new items, collard greens, macaroni and cheese, green beans, homemade mashed potatoes and gravy. 
at Hibbley's Barbecue and Steaks, East Garrison Boulevard in Gastonia, and off I-85 at McCaddenville Road in Lowell. Online at hillbilliesbarbecueandsteaks.com. Since 1934, that's right, 1934, Watson Insurance Agency has been providing the people of our area with the best possible combination of insurance, risk management techniques, and personalized service in the most efficient manner possible. And today that tradition continues. Watson Insurance is one of the largest independently owned brokers in the Southeast, representing over 30 of the largest and financially sound insurance carriers today. Before you buy, get a quote with offices in Gastonia, Lincoln, and Belmont and Lake Wiley. Find out more at WatsonInsurance.com. Open under new management. The new local market number two on Highway 321 south of Gastonia, just over the state line. Just look for the big BP. Not only can you save on your gas, but also on a full line of convenience items like Little Debbie Cakes, two for a dollar, 20 ounce sun drops, 50 cents, any size coffee, just 99 cents, plus back to school items too. And coming soon, the all new menu for the grill. The local market number two, 321 south of Gastonia, just over the state line on the left. Look for the big BP, open 5 a.m. till midnight. For over 40 years, Roland Black Heating and Cooling in Gastonia has been serving this area with the finest heating and cooling systems, featuring your comfort specialist trained. Roland Black Heating and Cooling provides expert residential and commercial products and services. Their team of certified technicians will exceed your expectations, and they are always available for a free estimate for your home or business. And visit the new location, 501 East Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia. Remember, it's hard to stop a train. Since 1987, Grapevine Communications in Gastonia has been handling the communication needs for people in Gaston, Lincoln, Cleveland, and Mecklenburg counties, along with York County in South Carolina. To succeed in today's business world, you need an efficient, well-designed, and dependable communications and security system. Grapevine Communications is dedicated to providing you with the best in systems as well as service. Grapevine Communications. Call 704-861-8411. Located at 110 Armstrong Street in Gastonia. Online at grapevinecci.com. The name might have changed, but the same great people in service is still there at Beard Insurance Agency, formerly Superior Insurance. Located at 1312 West Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia. From auto to home to commercial to renter insurance, also mobile home and motorcycle insurance. Find out why they are Gaston County's fastest growing insurance agency with the best rates for young drivers by shopping your rate with 43 companies they can save you money. Get low down payments and low monthly payments from Beard Insurance Agency, formerly Superior Insurance, 1312 West Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia, online at beardagency.com. Considering hardwood flooring for your home, then head to Flooring America in Kings Mountain or Carpet One Interiors in Ranlow. Right now at both locations, you'll find a big selection of in-stock hardwoods on sale. Priced as low as $2.99 a square foot. That's right, only $2.99 a square foot. At Flooring America, 602 Slater Street in Kings Mountain and Carpet One Interiors in Ranlow. $49 down delivers at Furniture Plus in Gastonia. Yes, $49 down delivers with no credit check. There's even more. 90 days, the same as cash. A new living room suit, $49 down. A new bedroom suit, $49 down. A brand new recliner, $49 down. Come on in and see Cindy for all the details. $49 down delivers with no credit check and 90 days, same as cash. Free delivery and set up too. Furniture Plus, 1020 East Franklin Boulevard, Gastonia. It's the 90th Annual Cleveland County Fair, September 25th through October 5th. Make plans now to be there. On the Midway, it's pig racing, Leon Jacobs, Act Monsters Chainsaw Demonstration, the Tumbleweed Crossing Wild West Show, 
And on the grandstand, it's a demolition derby and much more. So join us for the fun, the 90th Annual Cleveland County Fair, September 25th through October 5th. The Cleveland County Fair at the Cleveland County Fairgrounds. Good credit, bad credit, no credit? Apply today and ride today at 4th Auto Power Sports in Lowell. Pick up this week's What's Up Shopper for some great deals with zero money down and rates as low as 2.99%. See the new Polaris Ranger 500 crew for as low as $10,000. The brand new Yamaha Grizzly 125 is only $35.99. And for the lake, get the 2014 Yamaha Superjet for only $71.50. Full throttle power sports. Exit 22 off I-85 in law, online at nc4throttle.com. It's America's Mattress Sale at Hendrick Appliance and Mattress. Center in Shelby. Save now on the 2013 Inventory Reduction Sale. All 2013 mattress sets must go. Get free delivery, free setup, free Holloway. Get the sleep you need, guaranteed. Save on the Serta Perfect Sleeper for only $2.99 for queen size. Get special 12-month financing and Big Pella's just $39. America's Mattress from Hendrick Appliance and Mattress Center, 1241 East Dixon Boulevard in Shelby. Service. That's hard to find when it comes to lawn and garden equipment. Not anymore. Head to Parker Farm Service in Kings Mountain. Parker Farm Service services all major brands, makes, and models. Call Mary McHenry to set up your appointment at 704-259-6130. And Parker Farm Service welcomes... Kenny Barbie to their service department. 24-hour turnaround with in-house parts, plus delivery and pickup is available. Parker Farm Service on Bessie Drive at the Highway 74 Bypass, Oak Grove Road Intersection in Kings Mountain. There's nothing like a bobcat to cut grass, and there's no better deal than right now to own a new bobcat from West End Sales in Vail. For only $101 a month, you can be mowing on your new bobcat with 0% financing for 54 months. See the Bobcat FastCat R2 with a big 22-horsepower Kawasaki engine and a big 52-inch cut and a heavy-duty frame weighing 850 pounds, plus a three-year, 300-hour warranty. Only $101 per month at West End Sales, Highway 2718 North Intersection, Vail. Have it delivered. Yes, if you live in the Stanley area, just phone in your prescriptions to Allen Drug Store in downtown Stanley and have it delivered. Just look for the Allen Drug Delivery Car. They'll be in your neighborhood soon. And don't forget about their free kids vitamin program. Get a 30-day supply of chewable multivitamins for every child's nutritional needs. Pick up a free bottle every 30 days. For more information, see Allen Drug Store. Located on Main Street in downtown Stanley. Have it delivered right to your front door today from Allen Drug Store in Stanley. For years, Hicks Go Forth at Car Fair Auto Sales on the Bessemer City Road in Gastonia has been providing our area with the finest in late model cars, trucks, and vans. And at Car Fair Auto Sales in Gastonia, they feature on the lot financing. Come talk with Hicks about your next vehicle purchase. They're open Monday through Friday, 830 to 530, Saturdays 8 till 2. Call 704-865-8024. Car Fair Auto Sales, 1320 on the Bessemer City Road in Gastonia. When the American Legion Baseball World Series Committee searched for a communications company to handle their needs at Veterans Field Keter Stadium, they chose Detailed Telecommunications, and maybe you should too. Your business telephone system is your link to the outside world. If your business telephone system needs service or upgrading or you're moving or just want to make sure you're getting the best deal from your telephone company, call Detailed Telecommunications. 704-867-4507. And remember, they sell camera systems too. 
Visit them online at detailtel.com. ENT Carolina is not your parents' allergy treatment. Now, no shots, no pain, no fear. Ask about the sublingual immunotherapy. Drops are placed under your tongue, and just two minutes a day is all it takes. It's safe, effective, and you do it on your own schedule. And best of all, no weekly doctor visits. Call today for a consultation with one of their board-certified allergy specialists. Visit a location near you, ENT Carolina, 2520 Aberdeen Road in Gastonia, 1212 Spruce Street in Belmont, and 1180 White Road in Shelby. Great food at affordable prices at Hillbilly's Barbecue and Steaks in Gastonia and Lowell. At lunch, you can get chopped steak and one side for $5.99. Select from pork or beef barbecue or get a quarter chicken leg and thigh and one side for $4.99. Select from a wide variety of sides including new items, collard greens, macaroni and cheese, green beans, homemade mashed potatoes and gravy. At Hillbilly's Barbecue and Steaks, East Garrison Boulevard in Gastonia, and off I 85 at McCadmill Road in Lowell. Online at Hillbilly's Barbecue and Steaks.com. Since 1934. That's right, 1934. Watson Insurance Agency has been providing the people of our area with the best possible combination of insurance, risk management techniques, and personalized service in the most efficient manner possible. And today that tradition continues. Watson Insurance is one of the largest independently owned brokers in the Southeast, representing over 30 of the largest and financially sound insurance carriers today. Before you buy, get a quote with offices in Gastonia, Lincoln, and Belmont and Lake Wiley. Find out more at WatsonInsurance.com. Open under new management. The new local market number two on Highway 321 south of Gastonia, just over the state line. Just look for the big BP. Not only can you save on your gas, but also on a full line of convenience items like Little Debbie Cakes, two for a dollar, 20 ounce sun drops, 50 cents, any size coffee, just 99 cents, plus back to school items too. And coming soon, the all new menu for the grill. The local market number two, 321 south of Gastonia, just over the state line on the left. Look for the big BP, open 5 a.m. till midnight. For over 40 years, Roland Black Heating and Cooling in Gastonia has been serving this area with the finest heating and cooling systems, featuring your comfort specialist trained. Roland Black Heating and Cooling provides expert residential and commercial products and services. Their team of certified technicians will exceed your expectations, and they are always available for a free estimate for your home or business. And visit the new location, 501 East Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia. Remember, it's hard to stop a train. Since 1987, Grapevine Communications in Gastonia has been handling the communication needs for people in Gaston, Lincoln, Cleveland, and Mecklenburg counties, along with York County in South Carolina. To succeed in today's business world, you need an efficient, well-designed, and dependable communications and security system. Grapevine Communications is dedicated to providing you with the best in systems as well as service. Grapevine Communications. Call 704-861-8411. Located at 110 Armstrong Street in Gastonia. Online at grapevinecci.com. The name might have changed, but the same great people in service is still there at Beard Insurance Agency, formerly Superior Insurance. Located at 1312 West Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia. From auto to home to commercial to renter insurance. Also mobile home and motorcycle insurance. Find out why they are Gaston County's fastest growing insurance agency. With the best rates for young drivers. By shopping your rate with 43 companies, they can save you money. Get low down payments and low monthly payments from Beard Insurance Agency. Formerly Superior Insurance. 1312 West Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia. Online at beardagency.com. Considering hardwood flooring for your home, then head to Flooring America in Kings Mountain or Carpet One Interiors in Ranlow. Right now at both locations, you'll find a big selection of in-stock hardwoods on sale. 
priced as low as $2.99 a square foot. That's right, only $2.99 a square foot. At Floor in America, 602 Slater Street in Kings Mountain, and Carpet One Interiors in Ranlow. $49 down delivers at Furniture Plus in Gastonia. Yes, $49 down delivers with no credit check. There's even more. 90 days, the same as cash. A new living room suit, $49 down. A new bedroom suit, $49 down. A brand new recliner, $49 down. Come on in and see Cindy for all the details. $49 down delivers with no credit check and 90 days, same as cash. Free delivery and set up to Furniture Plus, 1020 East Franklin Boulevard, Gastonia. It's the 90th Annual Cleveland County Fair, September 25th through October 5th. Make plans now to be there. On the Midway, it's pig racing, Leon Jacobs, Act Monsters Chainsaw Demonstration, the Tumbleweed Crossing Wild West Show, and on the Grandstand, it's the Demolition Derby and much more. So join us for the fun, the 90th Annual Cleveland County Fair, September 25th through October 5th. The Cleveland County Fair at the Cleveland County Fairgrounds. Good credit, bad credit, no credit? Apply today and ride today at Full Throttle Power Sports in Lowell. Pick up this week's What's Up Shopper for some great deals with zero money down and rates as low as 2.99%. See the new Polaris Ranger 500 crew for as low as $10,000. The brand new Yamaha Grizzly 125 is only $35.99. And for the lake, get the 2014 Yamaha Superjet for only $71.50. Full Throttle Power Sports. Exit 22 off I-85 in law, online at nc4throttle.com. It's America's Mattress.
at Hendrick Appliance and Mattress Center in Shelby. Save now on the 2013 Inventory Reduction Sale. All 2013 mattress sets must go. Get free delivery, free setup, free Holloway. Get the sleep you need, guaranteed. Save on the Serta Perfect Sleeper for only $2.99 for queen size. Get special 12-month financing and Big Pella is just $39. America's Mattress from Hendrick Appliance and Mattress Center, 1241 East Dixon Boulevard in Shelby. Service. That's hard to find when it comes to lawn and garden equipment. Not anymore. Head to Parker Farm Service in Kings Mountain. Parker Farm Service services all major brands, makes, and models. Call Mary McHenry to set up your appointment at 704-259-6130. And Parker Farm Service welcomes Kenny Barbie to their service department. 24-hour turnaround with in-house parts, plus delivery and pickup is available. Parker Farm Service on Bessie Drive at the Highway 74 Bypass, Oak Grove Road Intersection in Kings Mountain. There's nothing like a bobcat to cut grass, and there's no better deal than right now to own a new bobcat from West End Sales in Vail. For only $101 a month, you can be mowing on your new bobcat with 0% financing for 54 months. See the Bobcat Fast Cat R2 with a big 22 horsepower Kawasaki engine and a big 52 inch cut and a heavy duty frame weighing 850 pounds, plus a three year, 300 hour warranty. Only 101 per month at West End Sales, Highway 2718 North Intersection, Vail. Have it delivered. Yes, if you live in the Stanley area, just phone in your prescriptions to Allen Drug Store in downtown Stanley and have it delivered. Just look for the Allen Drug Delivery Car. They'll be in your neighborhood soon. And don't forget about their free kids vitamin program. Get a 30-day supply of chewable multivitamins for every child's nutritional needs. Pick up a free bottle every 30 days. For more information, see Allen Drug Store. Located on Main Street in downtown Stanley. Have it delivered right to your front door today from Allen Drug Store in Stanley. For years, Hicks Go Forth at Car Fair Auto Sales on the Vesper City Road in Gastonia has been providing our area with the finest in late model cars, trucks, and vans. And at Car Fair Auto Sales in Gastonia, they feature on the lot financing. Come talk with Hicks about your next vehicle purchase. They're open Monday through Friday, 830 to 530, Saturdays 8 till 2. Call 704-865-8024. Car Fair Auto Sales, 1320 on the Vesper City Road in Gastonia. When the American Legion Baseball World Series Committee searched for a communications company to handle their needs at Veterans Field Keter Stadium, they chose Detailed Telecommunications, and maybe you should too. Your business telephone system is your link to the outside world. If your business telephone system needs service or upgrading or you are moving or just want to make sure you're getting the best deal from your telephone company, call Detailed Telecommunications. 704-867-4507. And remember, they sell camera systems too. Visit them online at detailtel.com. ENT Carolina is not your parents' allergy treatment. Now, no shots, no pain, no fear. Ask about the sublingual immunotherapy. Drops are placed under your tongue, and just two minutes a day is all it takes. It's safe, effective, and you do it on your own schedule. And best of all, no weekly doctor visits. Call today for a consultation with one of their board-certified allergy specialists. Visit a location near you, ENT Carolina, 2520 Aberdeen Road in Gastonia, 1212 Spruce Street in Belmont, and 1180 White Road in Shelby. Great food at affordable prices at Hillbilly's Barbecue and Steaks in Gastonia and Lowell. At lunch, you can get chopped steak and one side for $5.99. Select from pork or beef barbecue or get a quarter chicken leg and thigh and one side for $4.99. Select from a wide variety of sides including new items, collard greens, macaroni and cheese, green beans, homemade mashed potatoes and gravy. At Hillbilly's Barbecue and Steaks, East Garrison Boulevard in Gastonia, and off I 85 at McCaddenville Road in Lowell. Online at Hillbilly's Barbecue and Steaks.com. Since 1934. That's right, 1934. 
Watson Insurance Agency has been providing the people of our area with the best possible combination of insurance, risk management techniques, and personalized service in the most efficient manner possible. And today that tradition continues. Watson Insurance is one of the largest independently owned brokers in the Southeast, representing over 30 of the largest and financially sound insurance carriers today. Before you buy, get a quote with offices in Gastonia, Lincoln, and Belmont and Lake Wiley. Find out more at WatsonInsurance.com. Open under new management. The new local market number two on Highway 321 south of Gastonia, just over the state line. Just look for the big BP. Not only can you save on your gas, but also on a full line of convenience items like Little Debbie Cakes, two for a dollar, 20 ounce sun drops, 50 cents, any size coffee, just 99 cents, plus back to school items too. And coming soon, the all new menu for the grill. The local market number two, 321 south of Gastonia, just over the state line on the left. Look for the big BP, open 5 a.m. till midnight. For over 40 years, Roland Black Heating and Cooling in Gastonia has been serving this area with the finest heating and cooling systems, featuring your comfort specialist trained. Roland Black Heating and Cooling provides expert residential and commercial products and services. Their team of certified technicians will exceed your expectations, and they are always available for a free estimate for your home or business. And visit the new location, 501 East Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia. Remember, it's hard to stop a train. Since 1987, Grapevine Communications in Gastonia has been handling the communication needs for people in Gaston, Lincoln, Cleveland, and Mecklenburg counties, along with York County in South Carolina. To succeed in today's business world, you need an efficient, well-designed, and dependable communications and security system. Grapevine Communications is dedicated to providing you with the best in systems as well as service. Grapevine Communications. Call 704-861-8411. Located at 110 Armstrong Street in Gastonia. Online at grapevinecci.com. The name might have changed, but the same great people in service is still there. At Beard Insurance Agency, formerly Superior Insurance. Located at 1312 West Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia. From auto to home to commercial to renter insurance. Also mobile home and motorcycle insurance. Find out why they are Gaston County's fastest growing insurance agency. With the best rates for young drivers. By shopping your rate with 43 companies, they can save you money. Get low down payments and low monthly payments from Beard Insurance Agency. Formerly Superior Insurance. 1312 West Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia. Online at beardagency.com. Considering hardwood flooring for your home, then head to Flooring America in Kings Mountain or Carpet One Interiors in Ranlo. Right now at both locations, you'll find a big selection of in-stock hardwoods on sale. Priced as low as $2.99 a square foot. That's right, only $2.99 a square foot. At Flooring America, 602 Slater Street in Kings Mountain and Carpet One Interiors in Ranlo. $49 down delivers at Furniture Plus in Gastonia. Yes, $49 down delivers with no credit check. There's even more. 90 days, the same as cash. A new living room suit, $49 down. A new bedroom suit, $49 down. A brand new recliner, $49 down. Come on in and see Cindy for all the details. $49 down delivers with no credit check and 90 days, same as cash. Free delivery and set up too. Furniture Plus, 1020 East Franklin Boulevard, Gastonia. It's the 90th Annual Cleveland County Fair, September 25th through October 5th. Make plans now to be there. On the Midway, it's pig racing. Leon Jacobs, Act Monsters Chainsaw Demonstration, the Tumbleweed Crossing Wild West Show, and on the Grandstand, it's the Demolition Derby and much more. So join us for the fun, the 90th Annual Cleveland County Fair, September 25th through October 5th. The Cleveland County Fair at the Cleveland County Fairgrounds.
Good credit, bad credit, no credit? Apply today and ride today at 4th Auto Power Sports in Lowell. Pick up this week's What's Up Shopper for some great deals with zero money down and rates as low as 2.99%. See the new Polaris Ranger 500 crew for as low as $10,000. The brand new Yamaha Grizzly 125 is only $35.99. And for the lake, get the 2014 Yamaha Superjet for only $71.50. Full throttle power sports. Exit 22 off 85 in law online at nc4throttle.com. It's America's Mattress Sale at Hendrick Appliance and Mattress Center in Shelby. Save now on the 2013 Inventory Reduction Sale. All 2013 mattress sets must go. Get free delivery, free setup, free Holloway. Get the sleep you need, guaranteed. Save on the Serta Perfect Sleeper for only $2.99 for queen size. Get special 12-month financing and Big Pella is just $39. America's Mattress from Hendrick Appliance and Mattress Center. 1241 East Dixon Boulevard in Shelby. Service. That's hard to find when it comes to lawn and garden equipment. Not anymore. Head to Parker Farm Service in Kings Mountain. Parker Farm Service services all major brands, makes, and models. Call Mary McHenry to set up your appointment at 704-259-6130. And Parker Farm Service welcomes Kenny Barbie to their service department. 24-hour turnaround with in-house parts, plus delivery and pickup is available. Parker Farm Service on Bessie Drive at the Highway 74 Bypass, Oak Grove Road Intersection in Kings Mountain. There's nothing like a bobcat to cut grass, and there's no better deal than right now to own a new bobcat from West End Sales in Vail. For only $101 a month, you can be mowing on your new bobcat with 0% financing for 54 months. See the Bobcat Fast Cat R2 with a big 22 horsepower Kawasaki engine at a big 52 inch cut and a heavy duty frame weighing 850 pounds, plus a three year, 300 hour warranty. Only 101 per month at West End Sales, Highway 2718 North Intersection, Vail. Have it delivered. Yes, if you live in the Stanley area, just phone in your prescriptions to Allen Drugstore in downtown Stanley and have it delivered. Just look for the Allen Drug Delivery Car. They'll be in your neighborhood soon. And don't forget about their free kids vitamin program. Get a 30-day supply of chewable multivitamins for every child's nutritional needs. Pick up a free bottle every 30 days. For more information, see Allen Drugstore. Located on Main Street in downtown Stanley. Have it delivered right to your front door today from Allen Drugstore in Stanley. For years, Hicks Go Forth at Car Fair Auto Sales on the Vesper City Road in Gastonia has been providing our area with the finest in late model cars, trucks, and vans. And at Car Fair Auto Sales in Gastonia, they feature on the lot financing. Come talk with Hicks about your next vehicle purchase. They're open Monday through Friday, 830 to 530, Saturdays 8 till 2. Call 704-865-8024. Car Fair Auto Sales, 1320 on the Vesper City Road in Gastonia. When the American Legion Baseball World Series Committee search for a communications company to handle their needs at Veterans Field Keter Stadium, they chose detailed telecommunications. And maybe you should too. Your business telephone system is your link to the outside world. If your business telephone system needs service or upgrading or you are moving or just want to make sure you're getting the best deal from your telephone company, call Detail Telecommunications. 704-867-4507. And remember, they sell camera systems too. Visit them online at detailtel.com. ENT Carolina is not your parents' allergy treatment. Now, no shots, no pain, no fear. Ask about the sublingual immunotherapy. Drops are placed under your tongue, and just two minutes a day is all it takes. It's safe, effective, and you do it on your own schedule. And best of all, no weekly doctor visits. Call today for a consultation with one of their board-certified allergy specialists. Visit a location near you, ENT Carolina, 2520 Aberdeen Road in Gastonia, 1212 Spruce Street in Belmont, and 1180 White Road in Shelby.
Great food at affordable prices at Hillbilly's Barbecue and Steaks in Gastonia and Lowell. At lunch, you can get chopped steak and one side for $5.99. Select from pork or beef barbecue, or get a quarter chicken leg and thigh and one side for $4.99. Select from a wide variety of sides, including new items, collard greens, macaroni and cheese, green beans, homemade mashed potatoes, and gravy. At Hillbilly's Barbecue and Steaks, East Garrison Boulevard in Gastonia, and off I 85 at McCaddenville Road in Lowell. Online at Hillbilly's Barbecue and Steaks.com. Since 1934, that's right, 1934, Watson Insurance Agency has been providing the people of our area with the best possible combination of insurance, risk management techniques, and personalized service in the most efficient manner possible. And today that tradition continues. Watson Insurance is one of the largest independently owned brokers in the Southeast, representing over 30 of the largest and financially sound insurance carriers today. Before you buy, get a quote with offices in Gastonia, Lincoln, and Belmont and Lake Wiley. Find out more at WatsonInsurance.com. Open under new management. The new local market number two on Highway 321 south of Gastonia, just over the state line. Just look for the big BP. Not only can you save on your gas, but also on a full line of convenience items like Little Debbie Cakes, two for a dollar, 20 ounce sun drops, 50 cents, any size coffee, just 99 cents, plus back to school items too. And coming soon, the all new menu for the grill. The local market number two. 321 south of Gastonia, just over the state line on the left. Look for the Big BP, open 5 a.m. till midnight. For over 40 years, Roland Black Heating and Cooling in Gastonia has been serving this area with the finest heating and cooling systems, featuring your comfort specialist train. Roland Black Heating and Cooling provides expert residential and commercial products and services. Their team of certified technicians will exceed your expectations and they are always available for a free estimate for your home or business. And visit the new location, 501 East Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia. Remember, it's hard to stop a train. Since 1987, Grapevine Communications in Gastonia has been handling the communication needs for people in Gaston, Lincoln, Cleveland, and Mecklenburg counties, along with York County in South Carolina. To succeed in today's business world, you need an efficient, well-designed, and dependable communications and security system. Grapevine Communications is dedicated to providing you with the best in systems as well as service. Grapevine Communications. Call 704-861-8411. Located at 110 Armstrong Street in Gastonia. Online at grapevinecci.com. The name might have changed, but the same great people in service is still there at Beard Insurance Agency, formerly Superior Insurance. Located at 1312 West Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia. From auto to home to commercial to renter insurance, also mobile home and motorcycle insurance. Find out why they are Gaston County's fastest growing insurance agency with the best rates for young drivers by shopping your rate with 43 companies they can save you money. Get low down payments and low monthly payments from Beard Insurance Agency, formerly Superior Insurance, 1312 West Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia, online at beardagency.com. Considering hardwood flooring for your home, then head to Flooring America in Kings Mountain or Carpet One Interiors in Ranlow. Right now at both locations, you'll find a big selection of in-stock hardwoods on sale. Priced as low as $2.99 a square foot. That's right, only $2.99 a square foot. At Flooring America, 602 Slater Street in Kings Mountain and Carpet One Interiors in Ranlow. $49 down delivers at Furniture Plus in Gastonia. Yes, $49 down delivers with no credit check. 
There's even more. 90 days, the same as cash. A new living room suit, $49 down. A new bedroom suit, $49 down. A brand new recliner, $49 down. Come on in and see Cindy for all the details. $49 down delivers with no credit check and 90 days, same as cash. Free delivery and set up too. Furniture Plus, 1020 East Franklin Boulevard, Gastonia. It's the 90th Annual Cleveland County Fair, September 25th through October 5th. Make plans now to be there. On the Midway, it's pig racing, Leon Jacobs, Act Monsters Chainsaw Demonstration, the Tumbleweed Crossing Wild West Show, and on the Grandstand, it's the Demolition Derby and much more. So join us for the fun, the 90th Annual Cleveland County Fair, September 25th through October 5th. The Cleveland County Fair at the Cleveland County Fairgrounds. Good credit, bad credit, no credit? Apply today and ride today at Fourth Auto Power Sports in Lowell. Pick up this week's What's Up Shopper for some great deals with zero money down and rates as low as 2.99%. See the new Polaris Ranger 500 crew for as low as $10,000. The brand new Yamaha Grizzly 125 is only $35.99. And for the lake, get the 2014 Yamaha Superjet for only $71.50. Full Throttle Power Sports. Exit 22 of 85 in law, online at nc4throttle.com. It's America's Mattress Sale at Hendrick Appliance and Mattress Center in Shelby. Save now on the 2013 Inventory Reduction Sale. All 2013 mattress sets must go. Get free delivery, free setup, free Holloway. Get the sleep you need, guaranteed. Save on the Serta Perfect Sleeper for only $2.99 for queen size. Get special 12-month financing and Big Pella's just $39. America's Mattress from Hendrick Appliance and Mattress Center, 1241 East Dixon Boulevard in Shelby. Service. That's hard to find when it comes to lawn and garden equipment. Not anymore. Head to Parker Farm Service in Kings Mountain. Parker Farm Service services all major brands, makes, and models. Call Mary McHenry to set up your appointment at 704-259-6130. And Parker Farm Service welcomes Kenny Barbie to their service department. 24-hour turnaround with in-house parts, plus delivery and pickup is available. Parker Farm Service on Bessie Drive at the Highway 74 Bypass, Oak Grove Road Intersection in Kings Mountain. There's nothing like a bobcat to cut grass, and there's no better deal than right now to own a new bobcat from West End Sales in Vail. For only $101 a month, you can be mowing on your new bobcat with 0% financing for 54 months. See the Bobcat Fast Cat R2 with a big 22 horsepower Kawasaki engine and a big 52 inch cut and a heavy duty frame weighing 850 pounds, plus a three year, 300 hour warranty. Only 101 per month at West End Sales, Highway 2718 North Intersection, Vail. Have it delivered. Yes, if you live in the Stanley area, just phone in your prescriptions to Allen Drug Store in downtown Stanley and have it delivered. Just look for the Allen Drug Delivery Car. They'll be in your neighborhood soon. And don't forget about their free kids vitamin program. Get a 30-day supply of chewable multivitamins for every child's nutritional needs. Pick up a free bottle every 30 days. For more information, see Allen Drug Store. Located on Main Street in downtown Stanley. Have it delivered right to your front door today from Allen Drug Store in Stanley. For years, Hicks Go Forth at Car Fair Auto Sales on the Vesper City Road in Gastonia has been providing our area with the finest in late model cars, trucks, and vans. And at Car Fair Auto Sales in Gastonia, they feature on the lot financing. Come talk with Hicks about your next vehicle purchase. They're open Monday through Friday, 830 to 530, Saturdays 8 till 2. Call 704-865-8024. Car Fair Auto Sales, 1320 on the Vesper City Road in Gastonia. When the American Legion Baseball World Series Committee searched for a communications company to handle their needs at Veterans Field Keter Stadium, they chose Detailed Telecommunications, and maybe you should too. Your business telephone system is your link to the outside world. 
If your business telephone system needs service or upgrading or you're moving or just want to make sure you're getting the best deal from your telephone company, call Detail Telecommunications, 704-867-4507. And remember, they sell camera systems too. Visit them online at DetailTel.com. ENT Carolina is not your parents' allergy treatment. Now, no shots, no pain, no fear. Ask about the sublingual immunotherapy. Drops are placed under your tongue, and just two minutes a day is all it takes. It's safe, effective, and you do it on your own schedule. And best of all, no weekly doctor visits. Call today for a consultation with one of their board-certified allergy specialists. Visit a location near you, ENT Carolina, 2520 Aberdeen Road in Gastonia, 1212 Spruce Street in Belmont, and 1180 White Road in Shelby. lightning delay and we are uh, at the end of this lightning delay it's about to expire here from Forest View uh, you see the score there the Allen drug scoreboard 13 to nothing and that's right Kings Mountain on top that's a uh, minute eight left here in the first quarter and uh, again we were in a lightning delay for what do you think Derek the last 40 minutes or so something like well, that 35 uh, 7 minutes 56 7 56 officially and I would say it'll be close to maybe 45 to 50 minutes before we get back underway. So it's going to be about a 50-minute delay, I think, when all things are said and done. 108 left to go. I guess the big question now is how does the delay affect a Kings Mountain team that had the momentum up 13 to nothing, and conversely, does it do anything to help the JAG team now down 13 to nothing to maybe get things going back in the right direction after I'm sure being talked to very sternly and adamantly and in-depth by their coaching staff back in the gym during this delay? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, how does this affect momentum uh, on both sides of the football? I guess we will find out. And uh, then you also got to wonder when we go to halftime, will it be an abbreviated halftime? I don't, I don't know. But uh, one thing is for certain, and we're almost 10 minutes to 9 o'clock, and we ain't even in the second quarter yet uh, from Forest View. So this one could go pretty late tonight. Uh, here, right here on ktcbroadcasting.com and uh, if you are still with us thank you for sticking around and uh, waiting and getting us through this lightning delay here from Forest View it looked like on the radar a storm that was really going to come in and move out of here pretty quick I mean it looked like a storm that was going to dump a lot of rain uh, here in, in the area and then just move on out but it's been a little little confusing this this storm uh, well, it's like one of those storms that's just kind of popped up and just a stationary type of storm. And that's not doing a lot of movement. So I uh, don't know uh, what will happen here in the future from Forest View, but that storm still remains to be at the, what would you say, Derek, the south, what, east south, of us? Uh, southeast of us. It appears it may go just to our west and miss us, hook around us. It looks like it may have lost some strength as it went over Lake Wiley, which sometimes storms do when they go over warmer bodies of water so it looks like that may have just weakened it just enough that it's going to slide to our west and go around us and maybe go more toward uh you know the the crowder's mount area versus coming into south gastonia where we sit right now but you know this could be an issue later tonight another pop-up storm may come our way again and you know could be in the same situation an hour 30 minutes two hours from now so both teams out on the field, they're kind of, you know, stretching out, warming up, getting those muscles moving. and So we can get this last minute 08 and this quarter finished and continue this ball game here tonight. So while we continue to wait, let's take another break. We'll come back as soon as we see these guys take the field to pick up from where they left off. It's 13 to nothing on your Island Drug scoreboard. Kings Mountain on top. A force view. 
Great food at affordable prices at Hillbilly's Barbecue and Steaks in Gastonia and Lowell. At lunch, you can get chopped steak and one side for $5.99. Select from pork or beef barbecue or get a quarter chicken leg and thigh and one side for $4.99. Select from a wide variety of sides including new items, collard greens, macaroni and cheese, green beans, homemade mashed potatoes and gravy. At Hillbilly's Barbecue and Steaks, East Garrison Boulevard in Gastonia, and off I 85 at McCadmill Road in Lowell. Online at Hillbilly's Barbecue and Steaks.com. Since 1934, that's right, 1934, Watson Insurance Agency has been providing the people of our area with the best possible combination of insurance, risk management techniques, and personalized service in the most efficient manner possible. And today that tradition continues. Watson Insurance is one of the largest independently owned brokers in the Southeast, representing over 30 of the largest and financially sound insurance carriers today. Before you buy, get a quote with offices in Gastonia, Lincoln, and Belmont and Lake Wiley. Find out more at WatsonInsurance.com. Open under new management. The new local market number two on Highway 321 south of Gastonia, just over the state line. Just look for the big BP. Not only can you save on your gas, but also on a full line of convenience items like Little Debbie Cakes, two for a dollar, 20 ounce sun drops, 50 cents, any size coffee, just 99 cents, plus back to school items too. And coming soon, the all new menu for the grill. The local market number two. 321 south of Gastonia, just over the state line on the left. Look for the Big BP, open 5 a.m. till midnight. All right, lightning delay is over, and we are ready to pick up where we left off. Here are the Jaguars on a first down and 10 after the kickoff, after the second touchdown. A handoff to Mo Neal, and Mo Neal goes nowhere. And Kings Mountain Derrick looks like they have come out after this long lightning delay and have picked up where they left off. Back under play officially at 8.50. That is a minus three on the play to Mo Neal. So as we come out of the delay, looks like the Mountie's still pretty fired up. Jags trying to find their way. They're now negative two in offense. That is only their fifth offensive play since we began this ball game an hour and a half ago. In the shotgun. Back to pass goes Crawford, looks to his left, now across the middle, and there's yeah. a flag that's yeah, going to be thrown call. in there for pass interference. Yeah, good call. That is a good call. Intended for Maurice Bryce on the coverage, Darren Burns kind of bumped him a little bit. So, penalty flag against Kings Mountain. Is that going to give them an automatic first? Should. That will be an automatic first down. So I tell you what, Kings Mountain saved by the flag there. That is just their first first down of the game. Ball on the uh, 40, 46 yard line, 47 yard line, about in between the two hash marks. 27.8 seconds to go, first quarter of play. Delay almost 50 minutes when it was all said and done. Here's Crawford back in that shotgun. He's deep in the shotgun. Three up to the right, two to the left. Now he's under distress, still on his feet, and finally speared after scrambling in the backfield behind the line of scrimmage. I think he got about two yards. Yeah, should have been a minus two on the play. He was able to squirt through and pick up about three yards on the play, so a good recovery there for Crawford to get some positive yardage out of what probably could have been a, a two-yard loss. And that's our first quarter play in the books. 13-0 Kings Mountain. We'll take a break. Come right back. Quarter number two, this is High School Football, KTCBroadcasting.com. For over 40 years, Roland Black Heating and Cooling in Gastonia has been serving this area with the finest heating and cooling systems, featuring your comfort specialist trained. Roland Black Heating and Cooling provides expert residential and commercial products and services. Their team of certified technicians will exceed your expectations, and they are always available for a free estimate for your home or business. And visit the new location, 501 East Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia. Remember, it's hard to stop a train.
since 1987. All right, second quarter. Switch uh, fields, uh, ends here, and now Forest View going to move left to right. They face a second down. Switch ends now. Jags now moving left to right as you watch on your video screen here at ktcbroadcasting.com, the What's Up Shop for a Gaston County Game of the Week. Just underway, second quarter. Almost 9 o'clock. What time will we be done? We just have to wait and see. So the Jags on a second down to start this second quarter. Here's a little screen pass out to Mo Neal. And that's about the first productive uh, performance so far we've seen for Mo Neal on that catch and run. He didn't get the first down. He came up a couple yards short. That will bring up a third down and short situation. Got five on the play. Let's give him six upon further review. Handoff. That's going to go to Montavious Rogers. Yep. That's, I think, his first touch tonight. Yep. He got five up the middle. You got to wonder well, how many different ways will they try to get it to Mo Neal tonight. We've seen a couple. Uh, different ways to get it to him that have not worked. Would they go to a direct snap situation if they were desperate enough to get it into his hands? At some point, you would think he's got to get going. Here's Had a, a shot screen pass catch last week, if you remember. Back to pass Crawford off to his right. A nice looking ball, and that is caught by Mo Neal. Yep. Down at the three yard line. No flags on the field. Uh, Derek, that was a big-time catch for Mo yeah, Neal. that was a big-time catch uh, in traffic. 30-yard pass play to Mo Neal. Heck of a catch. Had all kind of coverage on him. But that was a big-time Division I catch. 30-yard catch down to the three-yard line. He watched it come right over his shoulder. Yep. Into the bread basket, down Perfect. to the three-yard line. It was a beautiful catch and a beautiful throw by Crawford. That is why he's got a dozen Division I scholarship offers right now. Hand off to Rodgers, and he'll go into the end zone for a touchdown. That was a touchdown they needed. Montavious Rodgers on the score. Allen Drug scoreboard now, 13 to 6, 10.55 to go in the second quarter. Jaguars get on the board. Kings Mountain will remain on top as we await the extra point here. Snap, hold down, kick up, is blocked by Kings Mountain. Wow. So there you go, 13 to 6. Extra point, no good. 10.55 to go in the half. We'll be right back. Grapevine Communications in Gastonia has been handling the communication needs for people in Gaston, Lincoln, Cleveland, and Mecklenburg counties, along with York County in South Carolina. To succeed in today's business world, you need an efficient, well-designed, and dependable communications and security system. Grapevine Communications is dedicated to providing you with the best in systems as well as service. Grapevine Communications. Call 704-861-8411. Located at 110 Armstrong Street in Gastonia. Online at grapevinecci.com. All right, 10.55. There you see it in the half. It's 13-6. Kings Mountain on top. Jags just scored on a Montavious Rogers three-yard touchdown run. Allen Drug scoreboard, 13 to six, Kings Mountain. They will await the kickoff here after the touchdown. Jaguars. Gonna kick off there, you see it on the 40 yard line. Trey Heavner, the kicker for the Jags. 
And here's the kick. It's a short kick, and it's going to go out of bounds. That's going to give Kings Mountain good field position. Hey, impressive drive by the Jags, down 13 to nothing. Nothing going right for them. Only run four offensive plays before that possession. Took it from the 42-yard line into the end zone for a touchdown. Long pass by Mo Neal, 30 yards, sets up the Rodgers short three-yard run. They're back in the ball game now, seemingly quelling that momentum that Kings Mountain had and seems to be getting some momentum for themselves here early in the second quarter. So Kings Mountain from the 35-yard line. 58-yard drive. After the penalty. And here's Brandon Bell back to pass, looking right. Look at that throw. Wow. wow. And the catch is made close to midfield. Did that ball pop out? Let's see. No, that did not. But i tell you what. What a throw to Tico Crocker. 14-yarder first down on the run. The zip on the run that he had going to his right was just outstanding. And um, this kid has really come a long way since a year ago. Very impressive here now in two and a half games. He threw that ball on the money. Crocker was wide open down the field. Threw it in stride on the run to the right side. Big strong arm for, for Bell. And they're at midfield now, one play. Yeah, Beard Insurance first down for the Mountaineers. Not in the shotgun this time. Going to go right under center. Brandon Bell, here's the handoff. And that goes to McLean. They mix it up well, Daniel. They do. Just a traditional run up the middle like a run-based team would do to McLean. That was the fourth catch, by the way, for Crocker for 47 yards here in the early going. Darian McLean on the run. Five-yard gain. He's second down and five for Kings Mountain. They do mix it up nicely. He had the 52-yard run in the first quarter that set up a touchdown for him. McLean in the backfield again. They'll go to McLean once more, and he's going to get close to a first down. I think he'll come up a little short. Yeah, about three, I think. Check the spot and see. I think they'll give him three, maybe four by that spot. Let's see as they unpile. He got every bit of four yards on the play. And that'll bring up a short down situation. Third and one, a manageable third down play. 9.22, clock runs here in the second quarter. 13 to, to six is Kings Mountain going to try to snatch that momentum back. The momentum they had really until we got back from the delay just a moment ago. Here's a third down and short. And not McLean gonna get it. is not going to get yeah, it. There's defense. that first defensive push. Yeah, I think Chris Medlin wanted to see all night, and he got it right there. Yeah, right side just pushed right by the. They loaded up on that side too, almost as if they knew that run was going to come to that side. They were all at the right place at the right time, and stack McLean back. That was a loss. Minus three of three. That's right. That'll bring up a fourth down and. I don't know. It looks like Kings Mountain will go for it. I think they will. Kind of no man's land. This is a very confident offensive bunch. They think they've got a good play drawn up here. Let's see if they just try to draw them off. Nope. nope. They're going to snap. Fake play handoff. Action. Handoff. What a open. play. Yep, is that Merchant? Yep. Got and Merchant six. with the catch. How what about play that action. play action? Wow. Unbelievable. And they all bought on it on sure the right did. side, didn't Every they? Every one of them bought on it. I mean, I still am just am so impressed with this guy. I know we've kind of beat that into the ground, but he's a very poised quarterback. He is. Brandon Bell. May run his offense better than anybody we've seen in a couple of years in this type of offense, a multiple kind of set offense. Yeah, it's fun to watch. Now they're in the eye formation, old school eye. A high snap. Bell's going to keep it. Bell can run. He's still on his feet. Now across the 30, the 25, and out of bounds at the 20-yard line. Brandon Bell, another Superior Insurance, Beard Insurance, I'm sorry, former Superior Insurance Agency, Beard Insurance Agency, first down. About 18 yards, I think. Eight minutes in the half. It's 13-6 on your Allen Drug scoreboard. Kings Mountain on top, and now they are pushing to that goal line again. As Derek said, it's spotted down on the 22. 
shotgun goes Brandon Bell. Here comes someone in motion. Look to Watch reverse, a bunch I of think, flags. but that came up a little short. We have a flag on the play. Didn't that almost look like a reverse was getting ready to happen? I don't know. It looked like he wanted to try to hand it off to another guy coming across, but then kept it, and we have a flag. All kinds of flags. Tico Crocker was the one on that run. Everybody threw their flag. It's going to be on Kings Mountain. So that will back them up 10 yards. Yeah, that'll back them up 10 yards, and that'll hurt Kings Mountain right there. Second penalty, 25 yards. That is way back there in between the 35 and 40-yard line. So back to pass. Wide open. And wide oh, open, but him. just missed them. Yep. Brandon Bell tried to go to Tico Crocker again. That was the worst throw we've seen him make tonight or really since the Hus game a couple of weeks ago. Had a man wide open, found a seam out there down near the 20-yard line. That would have been six points easy if he'd hit him, just overthrew him a little bit. Too much underneath that ball. Brings up second and forever. They've got to get down to the 13-yard line. They are on the 38-yard line. 25-some-odd yards. Second down and long. Brandon Bell, he's going to look again to the left. Looks like he has a man, but it's intercepted. Picked off. Uh, did they say it was? Yes, intercepted out there by number one, Trail, Trail McCaskill. Trail McCaskill on the interception. Well, the problem was his intended receiver never turned around for the football, Daniel. That was a, a play where he was going to put that ball in a spot. His guy was supposed to turn around and look for the football. He never did. The defender did look for the football. Diving catch by McCaskill picks it off. Great interception to stop that drive now for Forestview. They're backed up, but they've got the football back. Trailing by a touchdown, 7.31 to go, second quarter of play. McCaskill, nice interception and coverage on that one. And the Jags will get it back. Shotgun. Crawford, quarterback keeper up the middle. And he got at least five yards as his helmet comes off up to the 15-yard line. Gain of six. Check that gain of five. That'll bring up second down and five. Shotgun goes Crawford. Mo Neal in the backfield with them. Oh, oh watch a snap. botch snap. Yep. And they'll have to keep it yep. and run it out of bounds. Not much he could do with that. From the 14 back to the 11. Not not as bad as it could have been. Let's see where they mark it. That was a different quarterback. That was not Crawford. That was number 14, Colton Guthrie. Colton Gr Guthrie had to come in because, again, Crawford lost his helmet on the last play, but now Crawford back in there at shotgun. Here's a snap, a little quick out to Mo Neal, and that's incomplete. Yeah. They'll have to punt, and they'll give Kings Mountain good field position on this punt. Well, Kings Mountain dodged a bullet a little bit. They'll get it back after the interception down inside the 10-yard line. Three and out, good defensive stand. I think, you know, that... Crawford losing his helmet, having to come out one play. Might have hurt that drive a little bit because Guthrie couldn't catch that snap in the shotgun cleanly. They lost yardage on that play. 
and then the pass to O'Neill was not caught out there on the left flat. It's not a great series right there for Forest View. They'll punt from the end zone from the 10-yard line. So there's a snap. Not Bad a great punt. punt. Going to trickle along the ground and get picked up by Crocker. And he's going to get backed up all the way to midfield. Not a good return. Might have just left that one alone. 35-yard punt. He lost six yards on the return. Should have let that one die. Nonetheless, they're at midfield. 49-yard line, near side has 51 yards away from pay dirt. 13 to 6. They've got the lead still. 6.41 to go till halftime. We had a delay of about an hour in case you're just tuning in. Mounties led 13 zip at that point. The Jags had run just four offensive plays to that point. They began their third series. It was a scoring series coming out of the delay to make it 13 to 6. Got about a yard, did Bell. Yeah, Bell on the quarterback keeper up to midfield. Bell's numbers, Daniel, nine rushes, 40 yards. Six of eight through the uh, through the air with the pick and 56 yards passing. Yeah, not bad for him. Pick was the only bad play he's made so far tonight. And, again, that might have been on his receiver, if you want to know the truth. That ball was thrown well to a spot. Receiver didn't turn around to look for it. Defender did. Second and nine. For Play midfield. clock down to one. They got it off. Second Bell. Screen pass. A little screen pass. Yeah. Overshot. It's going to be incomplete. 5.55 to go on the Allen Drug scoreboard. It's 13 to 6. Kings Over, Mountain on top. Overshot McLean trying to set up the screen pass. Let the defenders come, which is what you do in the screen. Pass a bit too high for McLean. Brings up third and nine from the 50-yard line. A big third down play now here for the Forest View Jaguar defense. Trying to get it right back. Maybe flip the field position. There's a hard wide throw open. and wide open. That was another nice catch. That will go Xavier Johnson. for 20 yards to Xavier Johnson. I mean, he just roped that one right into Johnson on that post play. Wow. Out of break of defense is back on it. Get him in third and nine. 20-yard pass play to the 30-yard line. Very easily, too, it looked like. Jack said, hey, man, we can't catch a break right now. Here's the snap in the McLean, and McLean is met hard yeah. at the line of scrimmage. At that 30-yard line, not going to get much, maybe a no game. Daryl McNeil, the defensive end on the initial contact, hard hit on McLean. They will call that a no game. McLean now seven carries, 65 yards, had the 52-yard run in the first quarter. But he got met at the line of scrimmage by a whole host of black-shirted Jaguars as the clock is under five minutes to go now in this first half of play. Kings Mountain taking a lot of time. I think they might take a timeout here, and they will yep. do just that. So while they break, we will as well. 13-6, to 6, Kings Mountain on top, 440 to go. We'll be right back. The name might have changed, but the same great people in service is still there at Beard Insurance Agency, formerly Superior Insurance. Located at 1312 West Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia. From auto to home to commercial to renter insurance. Also mobile home and motorcycle insurance. Find out why they are Gaston County's fastest growing insurance agency with the best rates for young drivers. By shopping your rate with 43 companies, they can save you money. Get low down payments and low monthly payments from Beard Insurance Agency, formerly Superior Insurance, 1312 West Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia, online at beardagency.com. Considering hard...
All right, 440 to go out of the timeout by Kings Mountain. I'm not really certain why they wanted to take that timeout, you know. I, 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 I don't know. I mean, it seems as if they might want to kind of exhaust some of this clock. But Kings Mountain will get the ball to start the third quarter as well. So a score here I think would go a long way. Absolutely would get them the momentum back. And um, leave the Jags again scratching their head just a little bit. Back to pass goes Blitz. Bell. He's in trouble. Escapes. Now throws. Look at that wow. throw. Wow. Was in trouble. Looked like he was going to be taken down. And the target out there that he found Johnson, open I believe, wasn't it? Or was, was it Jake Merchant. Merchant. He really knows how to pass. Throwing across his body and in tight spaces. I mean, what a pass. Twenty-four yards to Merchant. Snap, and we've got a flag on the play. So another false start on the Mountaineers. And there's another penalty. That'll back them up. That's going to back them up. Five yards. Here's Bell out of the huddle in that shotgun. He's going to keep it himself again, and he's going to get wrapped up and taken down. Yeah, no blocking on that right side. Jenkins, 55, on the stop. Loss of about four on the play. Back to the 11-yard line. Had nothing on that right side. Clock under 320. Here Second in and goal to go. Back to pass goes Bell. I flag. see a flag coming in. Two flags now. One may be a late hit, the second flag. First flag could be encroachment on the offense. They'll sort it out down there at the 15-yard line. They're waving it Picking off, it wow, at least one flag. Are they waving both off? How do you pick up both flags? That does not make sense to me. That does not make sense at all. Threw a couple flags at different times, too, and you're going to pick both of them up. So third and goal to go from the 11-yard line. 13 to 6, 308 to go till halftime. Back the pass. And was that in? No. no. That was right out of bounds. At the pylon, Daniel. I would like to see a review of that if Z I could. Xavier Johnson looked like he towed the line over there, and we've now got a flag, a flag, and that's yep. going to be talking yep. a little somebody, much. Somebody said something. Jawing a little bit. Yeah. Yep. But I'm telling you, it seems to me if you hit that pylon, it's a touchdown. And he touched that pylon because it fell down. Of course, that's the far side from us. Tough to tell from here. Or on the video, as you guys look at it back at home. But that was a heck of a pass, nonetheless, to put it right there at that spot on the goal line. Xavier Johnson has made some big-time catches tonight already. Now, what's the penalty going to be? Who said what to who first? Or sometimes it's the guy that says something second that gets the I, flag. I would imagine that it was Xavier Johnson or someone over there on Kings Mountain that jawed off to a referee. Unhappy about the call. Yeah. Which is rare that we see something like that from a player to a ref. We usually see player to player. Roughing the whoa, passer on the whoa, Jaguars. Wow. Yeah, I don't know where that came from. Well, I do see that flag now back on the 17-yard line on the far side hash. So, going to mark off 
half the distance, six yards. And then come back. Against Forest View. Because there was an unsportsmanlike, like we thought, against Kings Mountain. And then come back 15 yards on Kings Mountain. Wow. Come back 15 yards on Kings Mountain. Half the distance, minus six on Forest View. 15-yard penalty on Kings Mountain. But it will be first down. So it was going to be third and goal to go had there been no penalties. They get a fresh set of sticks, move back just a little bit, and may be able to get out of this thing okay if they can still score a touchdown. May not be the end of the world, I guess, if you're Kings Mountain, considering you get the fresh set of downs from the 21-yard line. But Bell continues to impress with his arm strength, and he's not a big kid either. You're looking at a guy that is only 5'11". Five nine one seventy five. I do not know what they're trying to sort out down there. Did somebody get tossed from the game? I I, I don't know. Well, could have got tossed from the game. Could have been an ejection. That may be why they're talking about it. I did not. You know, normally you see somebody kind of walk off or a coach go over there and grab him when he gets ejected. I didn't see it. We were watching other things at the time, though. But could have had somebody ejected. Still talking, Daniel? Looks like it. Now they look like they've sorted it, whatever it was out. And we can finally get to some action again here. So from the 21, first down and 10 again on the penalty. I think it's a first down because roughing the passer is a first down. That was the half the distance and then the personal foul I guess is not superseded by the rough in the passer. Under center and a handoff goes to McLean. Look at McLean go. Wow. wow. Kept moving yeah. the feet. Should have been down. No game. And game-y. was finally taken down well, to 20. His knee might have hit. Yeah, his knee might have hit. Didn't get the game we thought he was going to get. Got a two yard gain instead of a four yard gain, but still, the second effort by McLean was outstanding. Brings up second and eight from the 19-yard line. 2.30 to go in the quarter and the half. Shotgun Bell rolling to his right, looking for a target. Mm. Incomplete. Yeah. Crocker didn't get there quite quick enough, or the pass was a little bit ahead of Crocker getting there. That was down around the 10-yard line, throwing on the run again. But, again, throwing pretty, showing pretty good arm strength to throw on the run like that. You know, you don't see a lot of kids throwing the run in high school. Mostly it's drop-back passes and, you know, a little short read option type stuff. But this guy's thrown on the run several times, left and right, and shown a good ability to, to do it and get it there accurately. Here's a big down for Kings Mountain. Yep. Third down, back to pass. Look at this, in trouble, escapes. Yeah. The, the rusher there now almost to the, the first, first down, down marker. Yep. I think he got it. Yeah, trying to set up the screen, Daniel. Screen was not there. He saw he had an open hole. Got to the nine-yard line. That should be a first down, and it is. Wow, what a run. How many yards has he got now? That was a 10-yard gain. Four 
46 yards. McLean on the handoff, spinning. Bring up second and goal. McLean got a couple. Well, one thing is for certain tonight, Kings Mountain has controlled this clock. They have had possession of this clock. All night tonight. Delay a game or they get a timeout? I think they got the timeout. Yep, they had to get the timeout. Play clock was running down. We'll take a timeout as well. 112 to go, 13 to 6. Kings Mountain on top, and they have a second and goal when we come back. With flooring for your home. Then head to Florian America in Kings Mountain where Carpet One Interiors in Ramlo. Right now at both locations, you'll find a big selection of in-stock hardwoods on sale. Priced as low as $2.99 a square foot. That's right, only $2.99 a square foot. At Florian America, 602 Slater Street in Kings Mountain and Carpet One Interiors in Ramlo. $49 down delivers. At Furniture Plus in Gastonia, yes, $49 down delivers with no credit check. There's even more. 90 days, the same as cash. A new living room suit, $49 down. A new bedroom suit, $49 down. A brand new recliner, $49 down. Come on in and see Cindy for all the details. $49 down delivers with no credit check and 90 days, same as cash. Free delivery and set up too. Furniture Plus, 1020 East Franklin Boulevard, Gastonia. Thirteen to six. You see it right there. Allen Drug scoreboard. A minute twelve to go in the half. Kings Mountain had to call a timeout. The play clock was getting away from them. Second time they've done that, Daniel, in this quarter. You and they have a second and goal. They'd be better at clock management, but they've not been in this second quarter. They're going to spread it out to the left in this formation. And Bell right wow. across the middle. And what a throw to Merchant. Right on the buttons. Nine yards. Right on the money. This, this kid has got an arm on him. Brandon Bell. And that's another Kings Mountain touchdown. 19-6. to 6, 106 to go on your Allen Drug scoreboard here in the half. Brandon Bell has just outplayed this Forest View defense tonight. He has found a way to rip them apart. Here's the extra point attempt, and it is good. So 20-6, to 106 to go. We'll come back and probably finish this half out. We'll be right back. It's the 90th Annual Cleveland County Fair, September 25th through October 5th. Make plans now to be there. On the midway, it's pig racing, Leon Jacobs, Hack Monsters Chainsaw Demonstration, the Tumbleweed Crossing Wild West Show, and on the grandstand, it's the Demolition Derby and much more. So join us for the fun, the 90th Annual Cleveland County Fair, September 25th through October 5th, the Cleveland County Fair at the Cleveland County Fairgrounds. Good credit, bad credit, no credit? Apply today and ride today at Fourth Auto Power Sports in Lowell. Pick up this week's What's Up Shopper for some great deals with zero money down and rates as low as 2.99%. See the new Polaris Ranger 500 crew for as low as $10,000. The brand new Yamaha Grizzly 125 is only $35.99. And for the lake, get the 2014 Yamaha Superjet for only $71.50. Full Auto Power Sports. Exit 22 of 85 in law online at nc4throttle.com. Kings Mountain ready to kick off. 106, 20 to 6 to score. Kings Mountain on top. We are in the second quarter. And they are not going to kick it to Mo Neal. This time Mo Neal did line up in one of those up back positions to try to maybe field one of these short kicks, but they kicked it away from him this time. 
again. And it was covered up out there. 105 to go, 20 to 6. Kings Mountain on top. Let's see if the Jags can move the football with 105 to go. I would imagine they have a timeout or two that they could probably spend if they needed. That was Kings Mountain's shortest scoring drive, 51 yards, after a 68 and 70 yard drive earlier in the game tonight. Crawford on the throw. Moneal makes the catch. And, you know, Derek, I think we might begin to see Forceview become a little one-dimensional between Crawford and Moneal. Well, me, uh, Neil stepped out after about an eight-yard gain over there. Does stop the clock. Probably a wise move. Eight yards on the play. I mean, other than the touchdown run by Montavious Rogers, Mo Neal has been really the only spark on that he long seems catch. To be the only weapon that they've had tonight. No, they haven't had the ball a whole lot. Remember that now. I have them just 12 offensive plays, Daniel, in this half. Crawford on the quarterback keeper right up the middle. Can he outrun that defense? Finally taken down. He got caught close to the 32-yard line. That's a beard insurance first down for the Jags. What do you think there? The focus was all on Mo Neal, and Crawford just got it up the middle? Yeah, 22 yards. Jaguars timeout will stick with it. 51 seconds to go here in the half. He just shot right up the middle. And that'll be at the 32-yard line. I might be inclined to give him 23 on the play. I will give him 23 on the play. 51.7 as you see on the video screen. Again, download the Ustream app on your tablet or your smartphone and watch this live in your pocket. You step away from your computer, your CPU, your laptop. You can watch this thing on your cell phone or your tablet at the Ustream app. Just search Gaston County Game of the Week. It'll pop right up as a live sporting event. Now I'm watching it right now on my smartphone, and you can too. That is the Ustream app. We're at kpcbroadcasting.com on the web browser. Ronaldo Auto Post Game Show follows us tonight right here at kpcbroadcasting.com. Scores from all over the area, locally and statewide. They'll take your calls as well. A little discussion about tonight's week three action and previewing week four of the high school football season next Friday night. We'll be at Bessemer City for that game. Uh, whistle. That came from the official on the far sideline. And let's see what they're going to talk about here. We'll check some scores at halftime, some statistics. South Point was winning their game at Shelby earlier tonight. Trying to get back on the winning ways. Asheville was beating Ashbrook tonight. Lincoln and blasting North Gaston. 41 to nothing at last count. Huss and Bessemer City playing as well tonight locally across town. Up in Lincoln County, East Lincoln, North Lincoln, big game up there. I did not see what the call Don't was. Don't know what they're doing. They just want us to go home late. Yeah, it's later after 9.30 tonight, right now. We're looking at 11 o'clock at least before this thing ends tonight. Back in a shotgun. Back in the pass goes Crawford. He lost one. That's up there for a long time. And Mo Neal's up underneath it for a touchdown. Yards. That's one way to strike back fast. Well, that was his speed, Daniel. Got by everybody. I mean, you can't you can't do anything about his speed. That's, that's there, and, and you're not going to be able to defend that and he got behind the defense and a great pass by Crawford 32 yards a touchdown and they're back in the game now with 46.5 seconds till half that'll give them some momentum in the locker room I would think showing they can score quickly so Mo Neal on the catch for a touchdown 
That's his second big catch tonight of some distance, and that'll make it 20 to 12. Now, do they go for two? I would think so. Jags going to go for two. Montavious Rogers in the backfield. They got the big fullback in there, or the one that they're playing at fullback in this tight formation. Tate Payne, he's listed as that DL, defensive yeah. lineman. Now Crawford going to go right up under middle, that power eye formation. Yep. Got to draw them off sides, almost did. Coach Medlin wanted off sides. Not going to get it. Play clock down to eight, and now Time they'll call, call a timeout. I Medlin think they were trying happy. to get him to jump. I think they were trying to get him to jump off sides. He felt like he had it on a hard count. Didn't get the call. Now he may rethink this. Or and, um, or draw up a new play. Draw up a new play. Sorry. I just I, – I don't I, – you know, after looking at it, I don't think they would go for two in that power eye. It'd be tough in the power eye unless you're going to toss sweep it and pull that – fullback around one corner try to seal the end in on one side or the other or maybe lead with the fullback up the middle that's tough to do though well they come back out there now in the pretty much the same set Daniel one receiver though on the right side is Isaiah Sanders, but they're back in that I formation with the fullback and Montavis Rogers at the at the tailback. Well, where is Mo Neal? He's not in there. Snap. There's Rogers, and he Got bulls it. his way in. I was wrong. And Rogers with the power gets into the end zone. So 20 to 14, 46 seconds to go. Jags get a touchdown before this half. When we come back, they'll kick off the Kings Mountain. This is high school football right here on KTCBroadcasting.com. It's America's Mattress Sale at Hendrick Appliance and Mattress Center in Shelby. Save now on the 2013 Inventory Reduction Sale. All 2013 mattress sets must go. Get free delivery, free setup, free holloway. Get the sleep you need, guaranteed. Save on the Serta Perfect Sleeper for only $2.99 for queen size. Get special 12 month financing and big pillows just $39. America's Mattress from Hendrick Appliance and Mattress Center, 1241 East Dixon Boulevard in Shelby. Service. That's hard to find when it comes to lawn and garden equipment. 20 to 14. You see it right there, Kings Mountain on top, but the Jags just got a very big touchdown and a two-point conversion. Might see Kings Mountain run a play or two before kneeing it out, I would imagine. Here's the kick. It's another little pooch kick. For some reason, they don't want to kick off the McLean. That's a nice return out to the 45-yard line. They've got 40 seconds. they got a guy that can throw it down the field, Daniel. I'll I think know. take a couple of shots. Take a couple of shots now. That's See what, what happens. I was, I was a little surprised the Jags did that little pooch kick. I would not take a knee here necessarily. I would try a couple of shots with this guy. He can throw it hard. They've gotten receivers open down the field. Now, of course, the defense knows you're going to try to throw it down the field, and they're going to drop a bunch of guys back in coverage. Looks like maybe seven men back in coverage, eight men back in coverage, basically. The linebackers come up a little bit, though. Bell's going to roll out to his right. He's got Boom. a man, Look and that. that was in and out of the hands. Oh, he didn't catch it. Of uh, Tico Crocker. But that was a perfect kind of play. You see the college guys run on Saturdays. The pro guys run on Sundays in your two-minute offense. Yeah. Little thing to the outside by the sideline. Stop the clock first down, move the chains. 
great play just dropped by Crocker on the far side. But threw it well on the run. Again, showing the ability to throw on the run. Which I think is very impressive for a high school kid to have that kind of strength. And again, he's not a very big kid. What we say, 5'9", five, uh, five, 175. <laughs> They'll do it again in the shotgun this time. Bell going to keep it. We got a flag. Yeah, that'll stop the clock. Could give them a first down. Watch the flag. Game four before the flag. Holding on the offense. Well, that'll certainly slow this drive down a little bit. That'll Maybe the point where they'll just – now take a knee and get out of yeah, here. Yeah, because that'll bring up second and, and uh, 20. Instead of uh, second and 10. Maybe. That clock is running under 15 seconds now to the half. Yeah, this may be the last play. And they're in that formation where they're just going to knee it out knee. Yep. and go to the half. So at the half, 20-14 to 14 on your Allen Drug scoreboard. Kings Mountain on top. We'll take a break and come back. Bring you some halftime festivities, possibly, and some statistics. This is high school football right here on ktcbroadcasting.com. Not anymore. Head to Parker Farm Service in Kings Mountain. Parker Farm Service services all major brands, makes, and models. Call Mary McHenry to set up your appointment at 704-259-6130. And Parker Farm Service welcomes Kenny Barbie to their service department. 24-hour turnaround with in-house parts, plus delivery and pickup is available. Parker Farm Service on Bessie Drive at the Highway 74 Bypass, Oak Grove Road Intersection in Kings Mountain. There's nothing like a bobcat to cut grass, and there's no better deal than right now to own a new bobcat from West End Sales in Vail. For only $101 a month, you can be mowing on your new bobcat with 0% financing for 54 months. See the Bobcat Fast Cat R2 with a big 22-horsepower Kawasaki engine and a big 52-inch cut and a heavy-duty frame weighing 850 pounds, plus a three-year, 300-hour warranty. Only $101 per month at West End Sales, Highway 2718 North Intersection, Vail. Have it delivered. Yes, if you live in the Stanley area, just phone in your prescriptions to Allen Drug Store in downtown Stanley and have it delivered. Just look for the Allen Drug Delivery Car. They'll be in your neighborhood soon. And don't forget about their free kids' vitamin program. Get a 30-day supply of chewable multivitamins for every child's nutritional needs. Pick up a free bottle every 30 days. For more information, see Allen Drug Store, located on Main Street in downtown Stanley. Have it delivered right to your front door today from Allen Drug Store in Stanley. For years, Hicks Go Forth at Car Fair Auto Sales on the Bessemer City Road in Gastonia has been providing our area with the finest in late model cars, trucks, and vans. And at Car Fair Auto Sales in Gastonia, they feature on-the-lot financing. Come talk with Hicks about your next vehicle purchase. They're open Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5.30, Saturdays 8 till 2. Call 704-865-8024. Car Fair Auto Sales, 1320 on the Bessemer City Road in Gastonia. When the American Legion Baseball World Series Committee searched for a communications company to handle their needs at Veterans Field Keter Stadium, they chose Detailed Telecommunications, and maybe you should too. Your business telephone system is your link to the outside world. If your business telephone system needs service or upgrading or you're moving or just want to make sure you're getting the best deal from your telephone company, call Detailed Telecommunications. 704-867-4507. And remember, they sell camera systems too. Visit them online at detailtel.com.
ENT Carolina is not your parents' allergy treatment. Now, no shots, no pain, no fear. Ask about the sublingual immunotherapy. Drops are placed under your tongue, and just two minutes a day is all it takes. It's safe, effective, and you do it on your own schedule. And best of all, no weekly doctor visits. Call today for a consultation with one of their board-certified allergy specialists. Visit a location near you, ENT Carolina, 2520 Aberdeen Road in Gastonia, 1212 Spruce Street in Belmont, and 1180 White Road in Shelby. Great food at affordable prices at Hillbilly's Barbecue and Steaks in Gastonia and Lowell. At lunch, you can get chopped steak and one side for $5.99. Select from pork or beef barbecue or get a quarter chicken leg and thigh and one side for $4.99. Select from a wide variety of sides including new items, collard greens, macaroni and cheese, green beans, homemade mashed potatoes and gravy. At Hillbilly's Barbecue and Steaks, East Garrison Boulevard in Gastonia, and off I 85 at McCaddenville Road in Lowell. Online at Hillbilly's Barbecue and Steaks.com. Since 1934, that's right, 1934, Watson Insurance Agency has been providing the people of our area with the best possible combination of insurance, risk management techniques, and personalized service in the most efficient manner possible. And today that tradition continues. Watson Insurance is one of the largest independently owned brokers in the Southeast, representing over 30 of the largest and financially sound insurance carriers today. Before you buy, get a quote with offices in Gastonia, Lincoln, and Belmont and Lake Wiley. Find out more at WatsonInsurance.com. Open under new management. The new local market number two on Highway 321 south of Gastonia, just over the state line. Just look for the big BP. Not only can you save on your gas, but also on a full line of convenience items like Little Debbie Cakes, two for a dollar, 20 ounce sun drops, 50 cents, any size coffee, just 99 cents, plus back to school items too. And coming soon, the all new menu for the grill. The local market number two. 321 south of Gastonia, just over the state line on the left. Look for the big BP, open 5 a.m. till midnight. For over 40 years, Roland Black Heating and Cooling in Gastonia has been serving this area with the finest heating and cooling systems, featuring your comfort specialist trained. Roland Black Heating and Cooling provides expert residential and commercial products and services. Their team of certified technicians will exceed your expectations and they are always available for a free estimate for your home or business. And visit the new location, 501 East Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia. Remember, it's hard to stop a train. Since 1987, Grapevine Communications in Gastonia has been handling the communication needs for people in Gaston, Lincoln, Cleveland, and Mecklenburg counties, along with York County in South Carolina. To succeed in today's business world, you need an efficient, well-designed, and dependable communications and security system. Grapevine Communications is dedicated to providing you with the best in systems as well as service. Grapevine Communications. Call 704-861-8411. Located at 110 Armstrong Street in Gastonia. Online at grapevinecci.com. The name might have changed, but the same great people in service is still there. At Beard Insurance Agency, formerly Superior Insurance. Located at 1312 West Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia. From auto to home to commercial to renter insurance. Also mobile home and motorcycle insurance. Find out why they are Gaston County's fastest growing insurance agency. With the best rates for young drivers. By shopping your rate with 43 companies, they can save you money. Get low down payments and low monthly payments from Beard Insurance Agency. Formerly Superior Insurance. 1312 West Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia. Online at beardagency.com. Considering hardwood flooring for your home, then head to Flooring America in Kings Mountain or Carpet One Interiors in Ranlow. Right now at both locations, you'll find a big selection of in-stock hardwoods on sale. Priced as low as $2.99 a square foot. That's right, only $2.99 a square foot. At Flooring America, 
602 Slater Street in Kings Mountain, and Carpet One Interiors in Ranlo. $49 down delivers at Furniture Plus in Gastonia. Yes, $49 down delivers with no credit check. There's even more. 90 days, the same as cash. A new living room suit, $49 down. A new bedroom suit, $49 down. A brand new recliner, $49 down. Come on in and see Cindy for all the details. $49 down delivers with no credit check and 90 days, same as cash.